Nah, like actually though, actually though, if anyone complains about me being late, I'm actually, no lie, going to fucking lose it. Like no lie, going to fucking lose it. <sighs> like I'm genuinely pissed right now. I don't give a fuck that I'm 31 minutes late. Coxpo, see you in seven days, man. See you in seven days. Buddy said it's late the second I said not to say it's late. I know you're fucking five months up. I'm timing you. I, nah, I'm not going to time you out. If you say it again, I'm going to time you out. The only reason I'm not going to fucking ban your ass for pissing me off is because you're a fucking sub. I'm so mad right now. I don't even give a shit. Like, bro, I, I have a call and stuff. And all I'm seeing, I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here on a call. And all I see, all I fucking see. Wait. Late! I'm not gonna go live one day. Swear to God, I'm not even gonna say anything. Swear to God, I'm just not gonna go live one day. Like, actually not gonna go live, and and, and and those people can sit in my fucking chat for seven hours fucking complaining, and I won't give two fucks. Because it is so annoying. It is so annoying. Like, at, dude, I have to deal with shit. Like, I have a life outside of streaming with other stuff with social media and not social media. So when I'm fucking 30 minutes late, oh my god, you have a fucking hissy fit. Like, Jesus Christ. Motherfuckers be crying about it. Like, actually, bro, just show up when the noti comes in then. You don't have to fucking sit in my stream for 45 minutes before I'm even supposed to go live. So then when you shit yourself when I'm three minutes late, that's not my fucking fault. Oh my god! I'm not happy today. I'm in a bad mood. I'm in a bad mood. I'm ready to stream. If I'm on edge, man. I'm on edge, and I don't give two fucks. Tanga for the sub, Juicy for the fucking sub. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Just don't piss him off. Yeah. Literally. Holy fuck. It's great for the sub. I gotta turn my alert boxes back on. Hold up. Is Nodi out? Is Nodi out? I'm mad today, bitch. I'm so fucking mad today. You have no idea. Daz's new vid is really good. Yeah, I'll probably watch it another day. I'm not I'm not watching it today. Today's a fucking fall guys day. Springy for the five gifted subs. Hello, everybody flooding in. I'm fucking late. I know. I don't give two fucks. If anyone complains about me being late, I'm timing your ass out for literally 45 fucking days. I will time you out into the next millennium because I'm not dealing with shit today. I'm in a bad fucking mood. I don't care. I'm ready to play fall, guys. I know I'm late. My fucking bad. Let's get into this shit. Fuck! How's everybody doing on this fine goddamn Friday? Everybody good? Everybody good? Everybody great? Everybody fantastic? Everybody good? Yeah, we having a good diet. We having a good Friday. St. Maxim for the sub. Springy for the five gifted subs. Thank you again for that dub. We're playing Fall Guys today. Um, I don't know if we're going to be doing only Fall Guys. Do you guys want to do only Fall Guys or do you guys want to do multiverses later? Um, generally, uh, we're obviously starting with Fall Guys. We might end up going into multiverses after. Uh, but for right now, we're going to be doing a mixture of Fall Guys solos, Fall Guys customs. Copper for the sub. We're going to start out with a solos match. Um, just so people can get on Fall Guys, and then we'll go from there. Uh, so if you have Fall Guys, get on. After will this game, I will start a customs today? game. Will you do any sub-only games today? Probably not. They're a big hassle to do. Spook for the sub. L Woods for the sub. Maybe. The, the thing that's annoying about doing sub-only games is I have to go into the Discord, type the code, hide my screen, go back, wait like two minutes for people to join, and then start it. And then when I do that, people still complain that they didn't get in. So, like, I can't satisfy everyone, you know what I mean? Uh, I'll probably do a few sub-only games, but definitely not that many, just because people complain no matter what. Uh, Venom for the sub, L Woods for the sub, Spook for the sub. Who hurt you? Dude, I'm always on edge. Like, all day, every day, 24 hours a day, I am upset. <laughs> Is that relatable? I wake up in the morning stressed out. Is that if... I, I, and it's been pretty recent. But, like, I wake up, like, just pissed. Like, actually, just, like, I, I wake up and I'm like, damn, today... Like, I, I'm not feeling it today. Like, that's just... 
At, like the last like two weeks, dude. I'll wake up. I'm like, bro. I'm not. I, I'm just not. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood today. Like every fucking day, dude. Like it's just 30 minutes late. Yo, somebody time that kid out for a year. No lie, time that kid out for a year. I don't give two fucks. I know I'm 30 minutes late. Uh, I had to get on a call with my manager. I had to deal with a bunch of shit. Not, not in the mood for it. Not in the fucking mood for it. Lucky, how many subs was that? How many subs was that? That sounds unhealthy. Oh, it definitely is. I should probably seek therapy. <laughs> Laugh through the pain, man. Thank you for the 20 gifted, Lucky Lover 69. You're a fucking beast for that. Thank you. Thank you for the fucking 20. Oh, shit. Thank you for the 20 gifted subs. Massive dub in the chat for Lucky Lover 69. Daniel for the sub. Massive dub. Nah, but like, you know, it's not like a daily thing. But like, there are. Oh, today's gonna be a terrible Fall Guys day, too. Oh, today's gonna be a terrible Fall Guys day, too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't wait. I can't wait. Nah, but it's not every day. It's like it's like once in a while, you know what I mean? Olivia, pick this up. Like, I just hate that. You go to bed, you're chilling, you wake up, you're just, like, stressed out. I think it's anxiety. <laughs> if, you want to be, if you want me to be real, I think it's anxiety. Because, like, I don't even have a reason that I'm stressed out hey, some days. You I'll just wake up. Friend. Like, you know when you're like, you're like on edge, you're like just anxious, I'll wake up just like, like that for like no reason. Like, I can't even explain it. I'll just wake up and I'm like stressed out and it like sucks. Juicy for the 10 gifted subs. Massive dub. I don't know why we're getting so many gifteds right now, but Juicy Juice JW for the 10 gifted subs. Massive dub. Join the game. The code is P6QZH. We're going to wait for it to fill. Uh, it probably will be a slower fill today, or for the first few games, and then it should go quicker. Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, rig for the sub. Somebody said, can you play crab game? <sighs> should we play crab game one day, chat? I've been seeing it's getting a recent kick up in popularity again. However, I... Th dude, there's no point. You know what I mean? It, it, like, it, it doesn't make sense playing the game to me because it's based off squid games and squid games isn't even popular anymore treat for the sub enter username for the sub filth for the 1500 bits if i give you money will you stop being grumpy probably not but i mean thank you <laughs> i will always accept money i will always accept money that is that is a thing filth for the 1500 if i bits. give thank you, you money will you stop being grumpy probably not but <laughs> yeah, probably not but i will always accept uh, a little 15 dollar dono thank you for the 15 Phil, you are a fucking beast. Nah, I wanna, we used to play crab game all the time. I, I am down to play crab game. The only issue is crab game is dead. Like no one plays it anymore. And I know I saw, right before I went live, I saw Prod was playing it to like 4,000 people or something. And like, that's dope. But like, if I played crab game, I'd play it like one time. Like the game's just not a thing. Today is the worst day for me to play Fall Guys. I'm like, I know I just went so off topic, but like, if I'm doing Fall Guys customs, I, people are just gonna fucking piss me off. Like, literally, people are just gonna grab me the entire match. I'm gonna be fucking mad. Like, the entire day. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 Shark Boy. Yeah, fucking chase me down, you fucking dumb cunt. I recommend to play a calm game or play Zen music. Play Zen music? I'm not playing Zen music. Air Bear for the sub. Dropped her clothes off last night and found out she slept with someone five hours after breaking up with me. And an hour ago, she texted me to get back together. Bro, tell her to go fuck herself. Straight, you're, yo, straight, your ex-girlfriend's a bitch. I'm sorry. If she had sex with someone five hours after y'all broke up, she fucking sucks. That's her problem. <laughs> That's her fucking issue. Do you, man. Do you. I am Fuck not them. Gonna stop That's so happy. annoying. Caleb for the sub, Evo for the sub. It's like she broke up with you to cheat on you and then get back together. That's like when people say they want to take a break in a relationship. Mo in my it IMO, in my opinion, the most bullshit shit ever. If someone in a relationship says, Can we take a break? That's them saying they want to fuck other people and not feel bad about it. That is a genuine Joe Bart take. 
that's how it is, okay? What other reasoning is there to take a break other than to do that? Filth for the 5,000 bits! I'm not gonna stop till you're happy. Thank you, Filth. Filth for the 5,000 biddies. You are a beast. Thank you. Caleb for the sub, ASAP for the sub. When you turn 21, are you gonna do a Fall Guys stream where you take a shot every law? I tried to read that down now. I think that's roughly what it said. Uh, when I turn 21, I would do I would do like Val games where if I I'll take a shot if I lose. If I did a fall if I did a Fall Guys drink when you lose stream, I would die. Like I would die of alcohol poisoning on stream. That would not be entertain. I, I mean, it might, would probably be entertaining. It would be content, but I would die. So you know, I couldn't really reap the rewards of the uh, of the content, just because. It, it, I, I like it, you lo a Fall Guys game takes max 15 minutes, even if you win. So like just rotating through that many games that fast, taking a shot every time I lost. Yeah, no, that would end so poorly. No shot, I would do that. Uh, Stray Cobra for the 300 bets. Phil for the 500 bets. I don't know if the donut. Okay, there it is. They're spills, so I actually missed Ray's already. Guys, but Joe takes a shot every time he wins. Would be a sober night. Yeah, that would be a pretty. That would be a pretty sad night. Fall guys, but I take a shot every time I win. That might be one shot in four hours. Let's go! Time to get you turn up, everybody. Today. Nah, like that shit would suck. Enter for the 500 bets. You feeling a win today? Maybe. Straight cover for the 300 bets. Don't worry, I texted her. Don't worry, I texted her and I said. And I quote, go fuck yourself, you lizard-lipped. <gasps> That's... Damn. Damn. Is that offensive? <laughs> what is lizard-lip? That's a thing? Is that a saying? What the fuck is that? Bro, I mean, good shit you called her out. Because if she really broke up with you, had sex with someone, and then asked to get back together with you, like, fuck her. That's so, like, that's so fucked up. Michael for the three. I love your content. You keep me laughing, even though you be in the hills fucking dudes. Thank you, Island, for the Not sub. Stone for the sub. Pie for the three You have to take a fat rip off the dab pen. That would also be atrociously terrible. But I would be more down to do that when I'm 21 than take a shot every time I lose. Because if I had a if I had a rip like a pen, like a weed pen, every time I lost, I wouldn't die. You know what I mean? Because you can't die of overdosing on weed unless you eat like. Okay. If, if this isn't the worst map I've ever seen in my entire life, how the fuck do you get past this? How the fuck do you get past this? Joe, can you do a VR stream one day? Oh my god! Dude, that took like 10 years! I'm not gonna fucking qualify. They got fucking four fans? Yo, this is the worst fucking- Is this new? This is the worst map ever. I've never fucking played this shit. Oh my god, everybody's already fucking done, I bet. I am so far behind. What is this, the longest map known to man? Jesus Christ. People are just now qualifying. Oh, everybody's gonna qualify here. It's over for me. Yo, everybody wait up. Everybody wait up for your boy. Oh, what's up, Pigeon Man? Uh, ready to stream snipe me as per usual like a fucking pussy? Time to leave that game. Let's run that Not back. Stray. F -B -C -K, her best friend and her mom and her sister. Nostre, fuck her best friend, her mom and her sister. No, that's just petty. If someone, if, if you're in a relationship with someone and they screw you over... Don't go around and, like, F their friends. That's, like, a terrible Daniel idea. Me. Daniel I for the Fringe Bets. Toby for the Fringe Bets. Uh, Noah for the Fringe Bets. Damn, that filled up quick. Love the streams, Joe. You make my day, and you should play controller. It's so much easier. Hey, Joe, did also, you stop uploading you four TikToks a day? Now it's two. I used to upload four TikToks a day over a year ago. Uh, for about a year, I uploaded three a day. Now I upload two. Uh, sometimes three. Uh, the reason being is it was just an overflowing of content. Uploading four videos a day ended up being 28 videos a week. Uh, 
and how many videos a year? Over a thousand videos a year. Uploading four videos a day on TikTok was too much. So now I upload two. Uh, just because I think it, it, it enables me to react to better videos rather than just cramming in content. And I understand I probably could upload three, but some of those three video days, there would be a video that's just straight garbage. So I like, I, I like uploading two a day instead of four or three, just because it's too much content. And, and when I started uploading two a day, my views went up, went up more. Like when I, when I was uploading four videos a day, I was averaging like 500k views a video. Now when I upload two a day on TikTok, I average like one to two mil. So it's just, it's just different. Like it, it's just what do you, it's still the same view count all together because the views are just being dispersed differently. But I would still, what the fuck was that? Did I just hit an invisible barrier or some shit? But the views are being dispersed differently, basically. What's your opinion on New Jersey? I like New Jersey. Hey Joe, push someone off the edge. People shit on New Jersey. Like, dude, there's so many people that shit on New Jersey that are from New Jersey and are not from New Jersey. And they're like, this shitty ass state fucking sucks. I'm like, yeah, everybody's a dickhead here, but I fuck with that. Like, New Jer- if you've never been to New Jersey, New Jersey is effectively a state of everyone's an asshole. No one likes each other. No one wants to talk to you. Everyone's mean. Unless you're meeting up at a gathering where they're go they know they're going to meet you, they don't want to talk to you. And I like that vibe. Like, if I- it's- it, I understand it's Joe, rude, but it's what I grew up with. Like, any, is anyone here from a southern state? Like, a lot of southern states are more welcoming, like South Carolina or Texas or Georgia. Like, a lot of those states are, like, welcoming, right? And, like, that would stress me out. Like, I, New Jersey, like, no one wants to talk to me. No one wants to talk to you. Everybody hates you. And I like that. If I'm in the South and people walk up to me and they're like, hi, how are you doing? I'd be like, fuck off. <laughs> I, like, I wouldn't want to talk to them. Matt, for the sub. I'm Zerks for the sub. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm fucking shopping in a grocery store, I don't want some old ass motherfucker to be like, hi, how nice weather we're having. Like, fuck you. I don't want to talk to you. Like, I, nothing against them. But, like, I don't like that. And in New Jersey, no one wants to talk to me. And I don't want to talk to anyone. So it works out. But if you're in, like, a southern state or, like, some nice-ass state where everybody's just always fucking trying to have a conversation and give a helping hand and some bullshit, like, yeah, it's nice, but, like, it could be annoying. Like, if I'm having a bad day and I'm in public and some, some person walks up to me, like, overly fucking happy, I'm not gonna be happy about it. Like, I'm just gonna be pissed. Hope you have a better day. Right now, I'm chilling. Thank you, bloody, for the fringe bets. Oh, this fucking one. Yeah, no shot I qualify here. Literally no shot I qualify. I never, I never get this bar. Yep, yep, yep. That's how this works. That's how this works. If I play on this map, I don't qualify because these kids grab me the entire time and I can't grab the trapeze bar. Literally ever. That is exactly how this works. I need that. Fuck. Okay, well, I don't qualify now. If I, if I grabbed that bar, there was probably a good chance. Now I would say there's almost no chance I qualify. Unless I W key this and somehow get in immediately. And I missed it. Wow! I fucking love Fall Guys, baby. Let's run it back. Let's run it the fuck back. I love this game. I fucking love this game. I love the mechanics in this game. Everything's slippery. Everything's slidey. The gravity doesn't make sense. Nothing makes sense. When my guy falls down, it takes him 45 minutes to get up. He's shaped like a fucking jelly bean. He can't run. I love it. You're so shit. Fuck you. Quinn for the sub. Oh my god, I just had a burp there. Excuse me. One as someone who can't keep their lips from other people, and well, I am sure you know what the other means. has a meaning one is someone who can't keep their lips from other people and i i'm sure you know what the other means yeah straight cover for the fringe bets yeah no that's fucked up if if you if you were dating a girl she breaks up with you does it with someone else and then tries to get back together with you no like i like I, 
I'm, I'm not trying to make... I'm not trying to say that was a good thing, but at least that gives you closure in the aspect that she fucking sucks. You know what I mean? Doodle for the sub. Like, there was a lot of past relationships I was in where, like, the girl was a straight-up dick to me, like, after we broke up or whatever. And it sucks, but, like, part of that's good in the idea of moving on. Like, it makes it easier to move on. Yo, the rock rules. I'm gonna tell you one more time, bro. If you grab me, I'm actually gonna fucking have a panic attack. Like, I'm actually gonna start screeching like a pigeon if you fucking grab me one more time. Like, I, like, literally leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, and now you're gonna fucking chase me because you're a cock. I fucking hate this game. I, I actually fucking hate this game. There's, there's nothing redeemable ab about this game at all. It's, it's, uh, like, th this is the worst game mode in this game by far. No one knows how. How the fuck can I not grab that? You're telling me, dude, like, my guy is literally shaped like a fucking jet. Yeah, bro. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, buddy's playing on his fucking PS3. Yeah, yeah, buddy's playing on his fucking PS3. Figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. You're the one kid on PlayStation right now. Fucking get out of here, bro. Oh, my God. Nah, I'm not. I can't even qualify. There's no point in me even fucking trying. Everybody's already at the end of the fucking course. Run that back. Refund that fucking prediction. Refund that fucking prediction. Run that shit back. Run that shit the fuck back. Daniel for the 300 bets. Go on multiversus? No, I've been streaming for 21 minutes. I'm not getting on fucking multiversus. We aren't even doing predictions. Yeah, you are. There was one running. How do you not know that? Chat, dead ass though, would you guys want to see a crab game stream? I feel like it would do so bad. I don't even think anybody has crab game anymore. I don't have, I don't own crab game. Like I uninstalled that shit like an easy seven months ago. Like an easy seven months ago. <laughs> Chicken for the sub. Like I know it's a good game, but like it, it's revolved around a show that has kind of lost popularity. So there's effectively no point, if you know what I mean. Balls Good morning, for the three bets. Good morning. It's not morning. It's fucking 3 p.m. It's a dead game. It is. It'd be like, what, what's another dead game? That'd be like me saying I'm going to play Knockout City. Name a dead Among Us. Among Us is dead as fuck now. I am over her now That's like, Among Us is only popular you for YouTubers whose audience is literally there. four years old. Like, that is, that is Among Us. Sunday. Sunday is an Among Us. Uh, Sunday, the ex Minecraft streamer, is like the only person who plays fucking Among Us anymore. Among Us is dead as shit. It's a bad game. No one plays it anymore. Among Us used to be good. Now it's fucking terrible. If you were to play Fall Guys for the rest of your life or Among Us for the rest of your life, which one would you rather do? They both came out and got popular around the same time. I would rather play Fall Guys for the rest of my life. Just because Among Us, dude, Among Us is, had a higher peak of funness. This is my take. Among Us it has a higher peak of funness. It is a more fun game at certain points if you're playing with your friends. But it gets old as shit. Like, really fast. Bro, let go of me. Like, stop being a cock, dude. Literally. Yeah, now you're not going to fucking qualify. Like, holy shit. Oh my god. Better qualify fast as hell, too. Fling me in there. Among Us is too repetitive. It is. It's, it was the same game over and over. And it, it, is it just me or was this, was this how... Ev Like, how did I not make that? Like, what is my guy covered in fucking bacon grease? He can't fucking move? Like, I grab that shit, he slides off. What is your skin made of fucking slime? Just grab the fucking bar. Pull yourself into the tube. It's sucking. It's easy. That sounded weird. Pause. Pie for the Thrins Bits. I live in ND. North Dakota? Is that North Dakota where the funnest thing to do is watch crackheads in the middle of the night do random shit? I feel like that's a lot of states where the funnest thing to do is go to the Walmart parking lot, walk around in Walmart, be a menace, 
Leave. That's like that's like the most fun thing to do in a majority of states. Go to a Walmart and sit in the parking lot until 1 a.m. <laughs> like that is that is a good. What do you guys do for fun in your state? Like, what's the funnest thing to do in your state? Not in the summer. In the summer, hey, yeah, fuck it, go swimming. Funnest thing to do in the winter. Just sit inside. Do nothing. Hiking? Fuck no. <laughs> Walmart. 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 That A majority of states, the funnest thing to do is go to your local grocery store or supermart and fucking sit in the parking lot and fuck around. Maybe light off a firework. Have a race with your friends in your fucking new car and then leave. <laughs> Literally. Or have a fire. That is like, hey, dude, Joe, there was a... considered doing a 24-hour stream? Oh Let my god! This have game is so bad. Recently? Yeah, 24-hour stream eventually, but not soon. Probably when I hit a mill, I would schedule one, but I still wouldn't do it the day I hit a mill. The day I hit a mill, I'll be in... I'll be in college, like school will have started. Uh, and so I'm probably not gonna do it then. Uh, it would probably be like a winter break type thing. Four million, four million followers on Twitch, but it wouldn't be right when I got it, bro. And then, and then of course, out of everybody, that thing fucking hits me. Move out of my fucking way. Move out of my fucking way. I'm, I'm dive bombing this bitch. Get up, get up, get up, good. Qualify. Easy. Best Fall Guys player known to man. Scuffy for the bridge bets. Have you been in the hills recently? Um, I'm going to keep it real with you, Scuffy. That was the cringiest thing that you could have ever said. The hills joke is dead. It's been dead. It hasn't been funny for over a month. Uh, it's been going on for four months. The people that still post the Have You Been in the Hills videos, uh, it's no longer funny in any way, shape, or form. Um, it's a dead joke. They beat that shit, uh, like it was a dead horse. Uh, if the horse was the joke, it would be a pulp. It would be non-existent. Uh, the I've been in the hills joke is so dead that the, you wouldn't even be able to see that it was a horse. If, if you, if every time you made a joke, you hit the horse with a bat, the horse would be pulp. It would be an, uh, an undescribable animal that no longer exists. It's so dead and so unfunny that the fact that you said it Just like tried made my day it. worse I didn't okay mean to make you mad, like Mr. Yeah. Bartolozzi. <laughs> I wanted to try and make it I wanted to go on as long as possible I could have gone on even longer I could have done that for like another 10 minutes Bro, and then of hamster. course this fucking kid with a pigeon costume like figure it out bro they just grab me oh my god I'm playing solos after this I'm not playing customs I'm not playing customs hate to be that guy not playing customs it's over. It's over. Refund the production. Are you Refund doing reactions later? Dead ass. I don't even care. I'm not even dealing with pussies today. Like, I'm not. A bird for the 5,000 bits. Thank you! Are you doing reactions later? No. Uh, tomorrow and Sunday will both be reaction days. Sunday will be a full reaction day. Saturday will be a half reaction day. Somebody said, Bah ha ha ha, you're a bitch boy. Uh, you used the wrong version, uh, uh, version of your... Uh, which makes me think that you have a low IQ. And then you said, bite me. Oh, my God. And then he said, in the hills joke. Oh, wait, no, he didn't. Oh, no, your chats are actually pretty... You're, you're, oh, you're not that yo, you're not that low IQ. You didn't make that I've been in the hills joke. I thought you were I've been in the hills kid. You just said, for no reason, you're a bitch boy. But you used the wrong version of your. I'll untime you out. Welcome back to chat. Hey, Joe, I'm being 100% serious. I won't be able to donate for a while. That's fine. I, I've told you to stop donating for so long, and you keep doing it. You're actually the best streamer, always giving me laughs and improving my mood. Thank you. Thank you. How long have you been playing Fall Guys? Today? 29 minutes. All time since last year. Wait, no. Two years ago. When did Fall Guys come out? Fall Guys was the first game I streamed. I, I started streaming in August of 2020. Uh, so... Two years. Since I started streaming. That was the first time I played Fall Guys was when I started streaming. I, I don't even think I played a game before then. I think it was literally like the first game I played. I love this game mode. This, this is one of my favorite maps. Even if I don't qualify, I just think it's fun to fucking do this shit. What's a good side hustle? Selling crack. Just the 
dead silence after that. Bro, I can't even qualify. Holy fucking shit. Can I make it up this? Are they moving? Or am I just incapable of this? Like, holy fuck. That took forever. Land, bitch. Oh my god. I gotta go on this fucking side one. I'm not gonna make it. I'm literally not gonna qualify. Oh my god, I'm not gonna fucking qualify again. Joe, do you like Wawa? Yes. <gasps> no! Fucking shit! Oh my god. Now, real side hustle though? I don't know. <laughs> What's a good side hustle? What? I never had a side hustle. If you want to be real, I never... My, my, the only side hustle I had was selling candy when I was in fucking... I used to sell ring pops for a dollar. That was my only side hustle. What's a fucking good side hustle? Selling hard drugs? Like, that's the only... But that's, that's like a terrible side hustle. That's how you go to prison. That's like... Drop shipping? You missed my bit, Dono. Did I really? A bird for the thousand bits. Uh, or for the five thousand bits. Thank you again. I don't, I don't remember if I said that. I think I did. Uh, opinions on hamsters. They're pretty cool. I almost got a hamster when I was younger. I got a dog instead. Merrick for the three. How much for you to box Rumen Redev? Don't even know who that is. Bruh, are you getting bullied? What do you mean, are you getting bullied? Oh, by my chat? Yeah. Uh, I would say a terrible side hustle is drop shipping. Somebody said a good side hustle is drop shipping. I would say not anymore. Side hustle, uh, 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 drop shipping used to be a great side hustle. Now I would say it's terrible. If you actually, okay, here's a good side hustle. Go on the Facebook marketplace and sell your family's belongings. Without them knowing. Go on the Facebook marketplace and just start randomly, like once a day, take something from the house that like isn't used that often and just sell it right and so they won't notice for like a week and then they'll buy it like they'll buy another one and just keep doing that like sell sell your mom's hair dryer um sell the vacuum sell like sell like a pillow you know and just move up and just see how far you can go before people notice dude and i don't qualify again this is the worst game ever this is, like, actually the worst game ever. Oh, my God. You missed my dono? Did I really? I don't think I did. Stray Cobra for the 300 bets. I'm over her now, but what made it... Oh, I did miss it. What made it worse is she asked me to bring her show over her house, and the guy was still there. Egger house. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. They'll know it's you. You'll go to prison. Don't do that. Don't egg her house. Don't egg her house. I know it's tempting. Don't do it. Don't do it. That counts as vandalism. Scare for the sub. You missed my dono? No, I didn't. You don't even have a bit badge. Cassidy for the sub. Buy an RPG. <laughs> Shoot it in her left window. <laughs> don't do that. Don't. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke, Twitch. That's a joke. That's a joke. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I do know a guy that sells RPGs, Let's though. Let's be so, the undercard I mean, for the I KSI don't. fight. Uh, Zuzi for the three bits. Let's be the undercard for the KSI fight. Dude, did y'all hear KSI is going to fight two people in one night? I think that it... Dude, am I spectating? I was like, I don't have a Sonic skin. He's going to fight two people in one night. What if he gets roundhoused? Like, first, you first fucking... Joseph. Vin run for the 300 bits. Are you just saying that? I didn't miss bits. Oh, I did. For the 1,000 bits. You're a bitch boy, but you're our bitch boy. Thank you. Thank you for the 1,000 bits and the 300 bits. Um, I thought of moving from Croatia to the U.S. Do you recommend? What would you do in the U.S.? I mean, I don't know how Croatia is as a country... Uh, so I can't compare it to the United States. Uh, and what state do you to pet? Like, what state do you want to move to? Because that that's also what matters. Like, if you want to move from Croatia to, like, South Dakota, I would say don't. Because <laughs> the middle of the United States sucks. Hash call the fire department. We just nuked the building speaking head speaking head. What? Daigle's for the 300 bits. Mine for the 300 bits. 
Can you play Roblox horror games? No. Can you play Roblox horror games like The Mimic or Dead Silence? Uh, maybe one time ever. I have said that I will play in my existence on Twitch. I will play Roblox one time ever. Uh, and so the day you see me streaming Roblox will be the only day I will ever play Roblox. Uh, also back to the KSI fight. Uh, do you think he'll play? Do you think KSI will fight in both fights? I wanted to talk to my chat about this. I don't think he will. I think first, I think first fight, there's a good chance he gets like decked. I know he's like outmatching. I think he outmatches the first opponent. But like, say the uh, say it like fucking second round of his first fight, the the guy roundhouses him, just fucking uppercuts the shit out of him or some shit. Like, what happens then? What happens then? You just fucking, you just recoup, get back into the fight. You're suffering brain damage from the first fight. You're going to fight again, like, 30 minutes later. Like, is, is there a fight break? Like, is KSI fighting, waiting an hour, and then fighting again? Or is he fighting, the fight finishes, and then he stays in the ring and waits for the other guy to walk out and then fights them too? Because, like, that's menace shit. If KSI fights someone, stays in the ring, and then immediately fights someone else, that is, like, actually insane. If he, like, walks off, there's, like, two fights and then him, that would make more sense. He can't fight the second fight if he gets hurt by the first. That's a rule. Oh, that makes sense. Watch me not qualify here either, chat. Watch this. Watch this. I can't wait to not qualify. I can't wait to not hit this, and then I don't qualify. Yeah, wow. Oh, my God. I fucking love this game. I fucking love this game. Well, then, like, the dude that he's... <laughs> wait, so the second guy he's fighting is showing up to the fight knowing that there's a chance he won't even fight him? I feel like that's so ass. Imagine training for a fight for, like, six months, and then you get to the fight, and you don't fight the guy. The fight was canceled? You're lying. You're fucking lying. Mason for the sub. The fight got canceled? What? Dude, the Jake Paul got... No, you're lying. I'm Googling it right now. I'm Googling... KSI fight canceled. I'm Googling it. KSI opponent claims fight is off after white power tattoo backlash. Who has that tattoo? His opponent? So they're not even fighting. Like the fight's not even a thing. No one's... Is no one fighting or his second opponent isn't fighting? Because if they cancel that whole fight too... This summer has had zero good fights. <laughs> because Jake was supposed to fight like twice this summer. Postponed, canceled. Now KSI is getting canceled. The second fight. Okay, so the first fight's still happening. Who is he fighting? Who's the guy that he is still fighting? Are they like good? This is a two lap race. Got a, got a clutch up here. We're going to go back to a customs after this. All right, kind of getting wedged in here. Don't know how I don't have the speed to move past these people. Going left. Jumping. Sticking left. Easy fucking rotate. In through there. Going left again. Oh my god, get up. Oh my god, get up. Oh my god, get the fuck up. Are you kidding me? Dude, that's just like unlucky timing. He's fighting swarms? Who the fuck is swarms? He's a no one. Is he a fighter or is he a YouTuber? I swear to God, if he just fights a YouTuber again. The saddest shit I've ever seen is the fact that Deji lost four professional fights in a row. That is like so sad. Like I, he lost, he lost to fucking Vinny Hacker after like one month of training. I got gassed after the first round. Left, left for like a year and a half. Said he was going to fight again and then lost. <laughs> He's a boxer, but he's a no one, bro. See, and then I gotta wait. Oh my god, this game is so trash, dude. The left side is just fucking rigged. Nah, the left side is so fucking stupid. That long path is is not worth it in any fucking way, shape, or form, at all.
My girlfriend cheated on me, so should I put sticky bombs under her car? Well, no, that would be attempted murder. I would say don't go, don't go for that one. Pros for the Thringe bets, or not Thringe bets for the sub. CPT for the Thringe bets. Who would win in a fight, Deji or Fuzi? I don't know. Chat, do you think I could beat Deji in a fight? Do you think I should challenge Deji? I feel like that's an easy challenge. But now Deji has like now Deji has nothing to lose. You know what I mean? Like since Deji's lost every single fight he's ever done, if anyone loses to him, they suck. So like challenging Deji to a fight is a lose-lose scenario. Because if you beat him, you just beat Deji. But if you lose to Deji, you just lost to a fucking zero win fighter. King for the sub. So I feel like challenging Deji to a fight is like a really bad idea. You would get smoked on Reddit. Oh yeah, if you lost. Oh, if you lost. Oh, for sure. <sighs> Who should I challenge? Max Taylor. I feel like that would be an unfair fight. Max said he would fight me, but I feel... I don't know. I feel like I have reach on Max. You are not six foot three for the 10 gifted subs. What's up, bro? You haven't been into the stream in a while. Oh my god. 10 gifties. You are not six foot three. Massive dub. Massive fucking dub. Dub in the chat. 10 gifted subs. 73 out of 70. 84, actually, out of 75 subs today. Already fucking dub. You're a beast. Thank them if you got a sub. Thank you for the 10 gifteds. You are not six foot three. Nah, challenge white boy Eam. White boy Eam's like 15. <laughs> I'm 20 years old. If I lost to white boy Eam in a fist fight, I would never see the end of that. I, I would I would never see the end of that. The white boy M, it's not Eam. Who would win in a fight, me or speed? I feel like I show speed would be a fair fight. He's pretty short, but he's also like pretty in shape. Like, if I fought Speed, I feel like that would be a decent fight. Like, genuinely. I feel like he wouldn't train now. And then he would just kind of, like, just throw punches. Speed is crazy. Yeah, that's also the factor that I would have to think of. The crazy factor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody just keep grabbing me. Everybody just keep grabbing me. Yeah, just keep grabbing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep grabbing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Keep sticking out your arms. I see you want to grab me. Oh, psyched out. Yeah, keep grabbing. Keep grabbing. Just chase me down. I bet you're having the time of your life just fucking grabbing me. This is the highlight of your day. This is the absolute highlight of your day. Just fucking sitting here grabbing me nonstop. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. It's so fun. It's so fun. Look for the 10 gifted. Massive dub. Look, 10 gifted sub. Dub in the chat. Bro, there's no shot I didn't fucking get on that. Are you fucking kidding me? Can it just shoot me into the air? Brother, there we fucking go. Yeah, grab me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try not get me to fucking qualify, you fucking douchebags. Look for the 10 gifted subs, massive dub. Filth for the 500 bits. Joe, you should fight the kids you didn't unban, and if they win, then you unban them. How would I set that up? I would have to I would have to contact people I've banned. Oh my god! You are not six foot three for another 10 gifted subs. Massive fucking dub in the chat. Dr. Lewis for the sub. Massive, massive dub. You are not six foot three for the 10 gifteds. And Lope for the 10 gifted subs. Holy shit. Challenge Nick Merckx. Yeah, terrible idea. I'm joking, by the way. Yeah, no, I assume so. I don't know. If I was to box any influencer right now, who would you guys want me to box? Be realistic. Don't say Jake Paul. Like, that's fucking annoying. Because, like, I'm not going to win. I'm not going to win, nor would he when fight you me. Say, oh, brother, Somebody you redeemed sound Flesh like that fish on SpongeBob lol. Can you, when you say, oh, brother, you sound like the fish on SpongeBob? Do I really? Bryce Hall? Look for another 10 gifted, bro. What the fuck? Stephen Hawking? He's dead. And I also wouldn't want to fight him to begin with. What? Also, massive dub in the chat for love. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Big dub. Big dub in the chat. Poo shysty. Vinny. I feel like Vinny would be a good fight. But I don't have... I, I would want to fight someone that I could, like, at least ideally, like, get beef with. Rather than it just being, like, 
Dude, they're just non-stop stream sniping me. Like, it's, like, actually just unfun. Like, you realize, like, I, it, like uh, this is why influencers stopped playing Fall Guys again. Because they start playing customs and realize how fucking shit it is when you play with chat. And, and then you have the fucking dinosaur just grab you. Refund it. Refund it. Refund it. Refund it. Refund it. Refund it. it. Every goddamn game. I get stream sniped. Re-fucking fun. This is the by mods. You are now six foot three for another ten fucking gifted subs. You are a massive beast. Refund the shit out of that. I will never end a prediction in a loss if someone stream snipes me. Never. Never in my life again. Fall guys, I don't give a shit. If you stream snipe me, refund. If you stream snipe me, if, if I see some dickhead in a banana costume... <laughs> grabbing me the whole fucking game. You're a pussy. I'm refunding that. It's not a skill issue. I literally can't qualify because they grab me. Motherfuckers say skill issue. Like, for the love of God, if I, I wish I could just somehow, like, yeah, say your username. I'll get my whole chat to just grab you the entire game. You won't fucking qualify. Now 2 inches saying skill diff. Yo, 2 inch, I'll see you in an hour, man. I'll see you in an hour. Actually, on time, 2 inch. Time him out for a minute. Make him sit in a corner. Think about what he's done. <sighs> Go walk your goldfish. <laughs> How would you even do that? How would you- I would put my- I would put a gold- Somebody just said fight Rosa Parks. Are you fucking kidding me? Cam. Nah, who would I actually fight though? Probably Max. Realistically, Max. Out of anyone that I could fight, Max would fight me. Um... Not Vinny. I feel like- I mean, like, Vinny would. Like, that would be a good matchup, but I don't know. I don't think he would. I think Max would. I think Max would fight me. Motherfucker 6 feet Whoa, 3 is trying best. to outspend for top 3. Let me call my bank. No, stop. Why do you guys have to like why do you guys have like a war for like top three gifteds? But you are not six foot three and lope. Thank you for the fucking subs. And the bets. Fight Zeusy. I think that would be a fair fight. I think Zeusy would be a fair fight. Because I have a height advantage, but Zeusy's also bigger than me. Fight my girlfriend? Yeah, no. Who would my girlfriend fight? I could do like a couples influencer fight. Who do you think Brooke could fight? Who could Brooke take in a fight? Like another woman. Ronda Rousey? I mean, Ronda Rousey is a WWE fighter now. Almost no credibility. Get off. See what I mean, bro? See what I mean. See what I mean. See what I mean. I can't even move. I can't even move. I can't even move. Like, I literally... Look at them. It's a group of, of the, the ten fucking stooges. Four IQ just fucking running at me the entire time. Like, fuck off. Actually, fuck off. Holy shit. That vegan teacher. <laughs> that dude, she's so... That vegan teacher's too old to fight. I feel like, I feel like that would end in, like, broken bones. Like, when you're that old... Dude, I, I literally can't. I literally can't even play customs. I literally can't even play customs. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for the people that genuinely want to play customs. Refund that. I can't. I, I literally can't play customs. I, I like, I, I feel like some days the stream sniping isn't that bad, but like today there's like 10 people crowded around me. Like I, I literally, every game, I can't do anything about it. Especially when it's on one of those maps, like they're just going to grab me the entire time. I will never qualify. Dumb for the sub. And it's not a skill issue. It's literally just like, I feasibly can't qualify. Fight Ted Nivison. I don't think Ted would fight me. I feel like Ted's too nice. Aiden is streaming with Tate right now again. They're streaming together again. Air Bear for the 500 bets. If I put you in a room with a bat, how many five-year-olds could you take at once? They all come at once. Is it a fight to the death? Somebody said flack. Jurors for the sub. Somebody said, don't worry. Once every 10-year-old's back in school, they won't stream snipe you. Yeah, they will. Because when I switch to my summer... When I, when I switch from my summer to school year stream schedule, August 29th, uh, I'll be streaming later. People would be out of school. 
if I if you put me in a room if you put me in a room and it's like a swarm of like people that are like three feet tall right like it, you got a swarm how many could I kill I is that am I allowed to answer that on on twitch how many five-year-olds I could kill with a bat before they kill me I like that's so I don't know Am, is it like a zombies map? Like, like, am I gonna get overrun, or could I like, could I like train them? Like, could I run around and like turn around every ten seconds and just like, like, like swing? Like, how would that work? <laughs> Realistically, chat. How many? If you have a baseball bat, you if you have a baseball bat, and it's just. Unlimited swarms of five-year-olds running at you. How many do you think you could kill? That's so fucked up. Is that? Am I allowed to ask that? How many you could kill? Like that's like that's in. Before they killed me, I don't think they would ever kill me. Like I feel like I feel like for you would have to have like 20, 20 kids to to like just be punching me for me to not be able to get up. Like how strong is a five-year-old? Like, I feel like I wouldn't die. Like, there's no way. I feel like I would have, like, immortality at that point. I feel like it would be like, when do I give up? <laughs> Put a nail on the end of the bat? Dude, that's so fucked. I'm winning that every time. If, if, if it's like, ha okay, how many at once? I feel like that's a better question. Because if I'm in a room and they're always just flooding in, I feel like I could theoretically stay alive forever. Because it's only a, a, a segmented amount. Whereas, like, how many... How many... How, okay. How many... How many people... How many five-year-olds do you think you could fight at once? No bat. No bat. How many could you fight at once? What's the maximum amount until they kill you? I'd say easy 70. Like 80. Just because if you grab one and use them as a wrecking ball... Like they're you're in, like you like I'm talking like a tornado spinning. It's like it's like a bowling ball. You're just knocking every other one down. Like I don't think you would die. I <laughs> how did this start? Cause uh, <laughs> uh, Zeusy for the three hundred bets. I'm gonna grow more. Then we'll set up the fight. Dub Air Bear asked me. Air Bear asked a hypothetical question of how many five year olds I could kill with a bat until they killed me. Bear bear fight like bare knuckle fighting. I don't know. I don't think they would ever kill me. How would they kill me? How would they kill me? Like, say, say, say they swarm me and I fall over. Are they going to start, like, biting me? Like, how are they going to kill me? Because they're not strong enough to, like, punch me to death. If they, like, choked me. Like, I, probably exhaustion. I feel like, I feel like if they all swarmed me, I, they could probably, like, bite me and I would bleed to death. What is this penguin? Why is there a penguin? Why was there a penguin there? Did y'all see that? What the fuck? Why was there a penguin in that? What happened if I grabbed that? Alright, we're doing good. We're doing good. Dude! Dude! What are you supposed to fucking do when those fans are on? You literally can't do anything. Open. Oh my fucking god. Jump up. And wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Go. 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 Oh my god. Dude, that's getting so close to me, like, fucking throwing this. I never qualify on these ones. Running up. <gasps> ah! Trash ass game. Trash ass game. TB for the sub. Dude, the one kid. Dude, 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 dude. I need to show your chats. I need to show your chats before I ban the actual piss out of you. Okay, no, my mod art. Oh, wait, no, they didn't. Dude, literally, you have typed this probably a thousand times. No lie. No lie. Figure it out. I'm not fighting. I did a thing. You should fight. I did a thing, bro. You should fight. I did a thing. Fight. I did a thing, bro. You should fight. I did a thing. Uh, the Australian YouTuber. You should fight. I did a thing. I did a thing. I did a thing. I did a thing. I. You should fight. I did a thing. 
We get it. Okay? I asked the question 10 minutes ago. It has been a long time since I've asked that. I know who I did a thing is. I like his videos. I watch him. He's from Australia. He doesn't know who I am. Why would I fight him? A human bite can easily cause a major and deadly infection. Okay. So, change of plans. Or change of, change of scenario. You are fighting five-year-olds to the death. How many of them could you fight to the death without them biting you to death? They are feasibly biting you until you bleed out. That would be a gruesome death. That would be a gruesome death. Like hundreds of people just biting you until you died. Yeah, that would be that would be a gruesome death. That would be slow. That would be painful. That I would say I would say realistically I could fight 100. Just because I think like one punch. <laughs> like like, I don't think, I think a one punch to the temple, I don't think they're making it through, bro. I don't like, am I allowed to talk about this on Twitch? It's a hypothetical. It never happened. Mary for the sub. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. I like, it's just, I don't think they're lasting that. I think you would, you would pass out of exhaustion and then, like, dude, it, like these game modes, bro. Like they're starting off with the shitters. Fucking seesaw. The worst Fall Guys game mode notoriously. Literally so bad. Oh my god. Everything's always just fucking tipped over. Can I finally fucking get in on the checkpoint? Fight Ryan Soy review. Y'all really overthinking this. It's just the average skull thickness for men is 6.5 millimeters. So you could just punch through the children's skulls. Bro, I don't think you could punch through their skulls. They're not like an infant. They don't have like a soft spot that you could like what easily punch, punch through to their brain. Like they're not. In... <laughs> how do you? And also, how do you know that? How do you know the average skull thickness? <laughs> like, how do you know that? That's like such a random thing. Oh, what's this? Let me try this out. Okay, that was stupid. Let me not try that out anymore. What a, even best scenario, you use that hammer, that thing flings you like over here and then you just fall off. Like, I don't think that goes good either way. All right, easy quali, easy quali. Fight your girlfriend, yeah, no. Conan for the sub, Gutsy Aiden for the fridge bits. What are you on, what are you one punch man? Well, yeah, dude, if I'm fight, dude, no, Z-Man for the thousand bits. I thought it was only 300. Thank you for the thousand bits. There's a new season of One Punch Man. When? Who would kill more five-year-olds, Captain America or Iron Man? I don't think either Captain America or Iron Man could die to five-year-olds. I think realistically, Captain America and Iron Man could feasibly kill an infinite amount of effectively toddlers. I don't think I don't think they would ever lose. How would they overrun them? You would need millions of them. Like millions of them. <laughs> Iron Man is the best superhero ever. Okay, I okay, that's false. <laughs> okay, that's Okay, I'm going to I'm going to ruffle your fucking feathers. Iron Man is overrated. He's a rich guy with a cool suit. Iron Man could get the shit kicked out of him by, like, Doctor Strange. I think Venom could kill Iron Man. If you want my honest take here, I think Venom could kill Iron Man. I think Hi, Joe, Thor, uh, my first Thanos. Can you say George uh, sucks at Fortnite? Fucking, who else could kill Iron Man? Scarlet Witch. Uh, a million people could kill Iron Man. Iron Man is not that powerful. He, he's rich. He has good technology. He's smart. He's the brains in the experiment. But one-on-one -on -one fighting... Iron Man loses 90% of those fights. Somebody just said Spider-Man. Spider-Man? <laughs> bro, Spider-Man blows my shit. I love Spider-Man movies. I think they're one of the most entertaining Marvel movie, like, series there are. But Spider-Man is not powerful. He is a teenage... He is a teenager from New York City who can coincidentally shoot webs... Not even the Tom Holland version, though. He needs synthetic webs, the Tom Holland version. Um, but he has superhuman strength, and he can climb walls. 
That is Tom Holland. That is Spider-Man. He has superhuman strength and he can climb walls like a spider. Tom Holland can get killed with a 40 caliber bullet. Tom Holland could get his face smashed in with a bat. Tom Holland Spider-Man is not that powerful. Joe, you realize when he went when he went ham on Green Goblin, that was like 25% of his strength? I don't care. He would die to a bullet. Would Tom Holland die to a bullet? Does he have bullet invulnerability? No, right? Can, can't he die to a bullet? Like, if you shot, if you shot Spider-Man in the face, he would die. Just He's, it just doesn't make sense. Captain America with a plane. I'm Googling it. He has and a metal suit. Dead. Yeah, when he doesn't have his fucking metal suit on. Okay, that shit it pisses me off. Superheroes that, that all their powers is their suit. You're just a dude. You're just a dude in a suit. You're not, you're not a superhero. You're a dude in a suit. If you could be one superhero, who would it be? Not superhero? Iron Man. Superhero? Thor, Thor. Right. Loki. Anyone on Teen Titans. These all can kill Iron Man. Naruto can kill Iron Man? Yeah, probably. Mido for the Thurja Bats. Uh, I would probably be Thor. I would say if I could be, if you could be anyone in the Marvel Universe, who would you be? Anyone. Venom. Venom. I'm being Venom. I don't care. I'm being Venom. And I'm going to be the Venom. I'm not going to be Tom. Wait, what's the dude's name that, that Venom inhabits? I'm going to be Venom like the Parasite Venom. Meaning I can go and infect whoever I want. Because then I could, like, I could theoretically be anyone. Eddie. I would just be Venom. Because then Venom can literally become any animal ever. And anyone. Like, that's insane. Like, you could... Venom could theoretically become Thor. Could that work? Yo, is that a question that people ask? Could Venom, like, infect Thor? What would happen? What would happen if they did that? He can't? Why? Why? Vision claps everyone. What if he infects, like, a superhero? Because then I'm choosing Venom. I'm choosing Venom, and then I'm infecting Thor. And then I would have the power of Venom and Thor. That's overpowered. That is so overpowered. Is this the finals? No, there's so many fucking people. And what is this with this fruit shit? Get up. Get up. Damn, dude. I'm gonna just stand still. Jump. Four people already eliminated. Mega cringe. Talk about being bad at the game. This is about to be the easiest one of my life. Oh my god, never mind. I'm dead. Bro, please. Okay, we're alive. I'm somehow alive. Jump. Holy shit. A bunch of people just got knocked off. Jump. <gasps> no! Every fucking time. Every fucking There's time no I get close answer, to win, it's over. Every time. Every raccoon. fucking time. Pie for the 300 bets. Vision claps, everybody. Caden for the 1,000 bets. There's no correct answer, but the correct answer is Rocket Raccoon. Rocket Raccoon. Really? Okay, you could be any superhero... You can be anyone from any movie. Who would you be? Not even, doesn't even have to be a superhero. Anyone from any movie. You can just be them. They could just be, you could be like the Wolf of Wall Street. I would be One Punch Man. I would be One Punch Man. No lie. I would be One Punch Man. That would be so lit. That would be so lit. If you could have any superpower, what would you have? Mine would be complete hypnosis. The ability to suggest yeah, something Saitama. to someone, but or if Saitama. their will is strong enough, they won't be affected by you. If you could be any, if you could have any superpower, what would you have? Mine would be complete hypnosis, the ability to suggest something to someone, but if their will is strong enough, they won't be able, they won't be affected by you. Air Bear for the five hundred bets. If I could have any superpower ever, fuck. If I could be anyone. Somebody just said I would be Zendaya, so Tom Holland would rail me. If that I is so anyone, fucking weird. That is so... That is, I shouldn't have asked that question. I knew someone would say some weird shit like that. I Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? You would be Zendaya, so Tom Holland would rail you? That's just weird. That's just like... That's actually just so weird. That's like... <laughs> like, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I was talking like a cool a cool answer. Like, oh, Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, uh, like, Spider-Man. Oh, like, uh, just anyone. Fuck it, like, Rick, and, Rick from Rick and Morty. I would be Rick from Rick and Morty. The smartest man in the universe. That would be so fucking... That would be so lit. Or Morty. Fuck. Chat, would you rather be Morty or the sister from Rick and Morty? What's the sister's name from Rick and Morty? I'd rather be Morty. I'd rather be dumb. Morty... <laughs> I would, I would rather be Morty. Because Morty goes on, like, cool adventures. The sister just complains a lot. Even though she's smarter. She also gets, like, abandoned. <gasps> Fuck! Summer. Oh, that's her name. I love Summer. Summer is... Dude. Dude. Top 10 most annoying TV show characters. Uh, Who's the dad from Rick and Morty? So annoying. Kenny from South Park. That's a good play. Dude, I didn't qualify. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm just I'm just out here not qualifying left and right. Literally left and fucking right. Balls for the Thringe Vets. Uh Hassan's for the sub, pie for the Thringe Vets. I'm sorry, but I'd be broke, so Joe railed me. That's so weird. That's so weird. That's so weird. That is so I said from a movie. I said from a movie. I said from a movie. Jerry. Jerry from Rick and Morty is top five, actually. Most annoying fucking characters in the world. I fucking hate Jerry. He is such a fucking cuck. It's so annoying. Oh my god. And the mom. The parents in Rick and Morty are just so annoying. So annoying. Like, unredeemably annoying. Bone for the Thranger Bets. My first Twitch dono. Can you say George sucks at Fortnite? Just dead. I would be Humpty Dumpty if I could be anyone. You'd be Humpty Dumpty. The the human-sized egg that falls off the wall and gets fucking cracked. W. Tanbo for the 10,000 fucking bits. Dub in the fucking chat. Bin run for the bridge bets. Holy shit. I would become a celebrity, then go find my old body to see what happened. Tonbull for the 10,000 bits. That's actually a good answer, Venron. Dude, dub in the chat for that. Thank you, Tonbull. Am I saying your name right? Is it Tonebull, Tonbull? Scuffy for the Thringer Bets. You look like Ned Leeds. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Zeusy for the Thringer Bets. Zeusy, Zeusy is a good answer here. It's going to pop up. I'd be Bugs Bunny from Space Jam, so I could have Lola Bunny full score. Lola Bunny from old Space Jam or new Space Jam? Because new Space Jam, they made Lola Bunny cringe. Old Space Jam, they made Lola Bunny cool. You Dude, I got a clutch right. here. Ah, fuck, I'm getting in the crowd. That's bad. Hold up. <gasps> Damn! Stay on, bitch! Stay on, bitch! Jump! I'm in. I'm in this bitch. Fucking easy. Fucking easy. W King. W King. W King. Dive. This is the worst game mode. No, it's not. Seesaw's still worse. Jump. Fucking shit. That took so long. Chad, if you could be any Pokemon, what would you be? Don't say Ditto. Ditto piss. I I hate people Joe, that say that. Joe, I would that. be the human centipede. You would be the human centipede. Chat. Okay. Real question here. Real question here. If you were in the movie, if you were in the movie Human Centipede, this is a hypothetical stream. If you were in the movie Human Centipede, okay. If you've never seen Human Centipede, what Human Centipede is is they they sew the human mouth to another human's anus and then they sew your anus to another human's mouth so like you eat their poop and they eat your poop so there's someone in the middle there's someone on the front and there's someone on the back the f person in the back does not have their mouth sewed to any or the person in the back does not have their anus sewed to anybody the person in the front 
only has their anus sewed to someone, right? So the person in the front actually eats real food. The person in the back shits, like, in a toilet, basically. The person in the middle eats poop and shits in someone's uh, someone else's mouth. If you were to be one of those three people, who would you be? Person in the front, easily. Person in the front, easily. Then I don't have to deal with any of the issues. The front. The front. Being the front in the human centipede is the best out of all of them. I mean, ideally, you would not be in the human centipede, but if you had to be in one, you would want to be in the front. Because then you eat food. I don't care. A lot of people are going to say, I'm eating right now. I couldn't give two fucks. Um, like, just because eating poop is a no-go, okay? Eating poop is a no-go for your boy. I don't want to have my mouth taped or sewed to someone else's shithole, right? So, I would want to be... I would I would want to be in the front. I would want to... Somebody said the middle. Nah, that's menace shit. I would want to be in the middle. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You'd want to be in the middle? Oh, my God. No shot. You'd want to be in the middle? Bro, oh, my God. Being in the middle is the worst. Being in the middle is, is actually the worst. Like, I don't... Answering the middle, you gotta have some weird fetish. That's like best of both worlds. Oh, nah. That's fucking weird. Being in the middle has to be the worst by far. Be in the middle only if Faith Ordway was in front of me. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, I don't, I don't care who it is. I am not being the middle. I am not being the middle. Ah, uh, no shot. No shot. No fucking shot. Okay. New hypothetical. If you're in the front, the person taped to your back, who's who's really gross? Who's really gross? Name like a famous person that's really gross. If you're in the front. If you're if you're in the front, so Danny DeVito. If you're in the front, Danny DeVito is taped it is sewed to your back if you're in the back if you're in the back ryan reynolds is taped to your front now what are you choosing so danny devito's eating your shit or you're eating ryan reynolds shit <laughs> i still don't think that would sway my opinion i still don't think that would but that would i would be i would be more comfortable i feel like ryan reynolds would make a show out of it you know like, if Ryan, if Ryan was, oh, but he wouldn't be able to talk because he would be in the middle. If Ryan Reynolds, if, if I, if I was receiving Ryan Reynolds' poop. Okay, this has to be TOS. I, I, if I, I am not, this has, if I, okay, I'm just going to get this last thought out. I feel like he would make it, like, not as bad. Like, he would crack a joke or two. You know, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it wouldn't be as bad. Like he would be like he would he would be like making me laugh while I had to like get through it. I fucking love this game. C Phillips for the sub. What is happening? You don't wanna know. You don't know you don't wanna know what we're talking about. Oh You're in the middle? Okay, you're in the middle. You're in the middle. New hypothetical. New hypothetical. You're in the middle of the human centipede. You're in the middle of the human centipede. There's two people. And you get to choose who's in the back and who's in the front. Nick Akato, Avocado, and Danny DeVito. Who's in the back and who's in the front of you? Oh, that's an impossible one. That's an impossible one. I'd say Danny in the front. I don't want to eat. I, I don't, I, just seeing what Nick Akato, Avocado eats, I don't want to be. I don't want to be receiving that. I don't want to be receiving the remnants of that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I feel like somebody said Danny in the back? Nah, that's fucking menace shit. Yo, we'll actually run a customs. We'll run a customs. We'll run a customs. What if they have diarrhea? Well, then you... I, I There's no... Have you never seen the human centipede? Uh... Don't... Okay. I don't know if I should... Uh, it's a scary movie, isn't it? Wait, it's not called Human Centipede. What's the name of the movie, right? What is the name of the movie in Human Centipede? 
Is it literally called? Oh, it's literally called Human Centipede. <laughs> the film tells the story of a deranged German surgeon who kidnaps three tor tourists and joins them surgically mouth to anus, forming a human centipede. Yeah, being in the middle is definitely the, definitely the shit end, right? Being in the middle, that sucks. I would say being in the middle is as bad as being in the back. I, like, I feel like being in the front isn't that bad, right? Because you're just, being in the front, you're still eating regular food. <laughs> if you're in the front, okay, chat, you're in the front of the human centipede, your options for food, a Chipotle burrito, extra queso, or rice. Knowing, 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 just plain rice or Chipotle burrito, extra queso. Would you would Jokey, you put the person say, behind Red you Dead through Redemption that? To everybody in chat wants it. Would you put the person behind you through that to eat the? To, like I'd be like, I'm sorry, bro. I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta mac this fucking Chipotle burrito. You're gonna deal with it later. It's gonna be a rough show. A lot of corn too. A lot of corn. A lot of corn. A lot of queso. Steak burrito from Chipotle or carne asada. I would, I would fold. I would eat it. It would be like that or like tofu. They would be like begging me. Oh, please. It no, but it would be muffled. Front, it would be muffled because, it, it would be muffled because they would be, they would be on my back. So it would be like, <laughs> they would be begging me not to eat the Chipotle burrito. I'd be like, damn, I can't hear you, man. You're taped to my anus. My bad. And then I would eat it. Are your arms free? Yeah. No, your arms are free. It's everything else is free in your body. He'd be like, free. He'd be like, please, yeah, some beans too. I'd be making it. We'd be at Chipotle. He'd be like, oh, please, man. It would be all muffled. Please, please don't eat. Please don't eat the Chipotle burrito. Oh, please, please just get the steak. I'd be like, sorry, man. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go for the rice and beans. Gotta go for the rice and beans. Sorry. I'm just trying to eat. Yeah, I know. I, whenever I get into these talks, people leave my stream. Because they get really uncomfortable while they're eating. Oh, I forgot that I'm in a custom game and everybody's going to be a cop. I forgot about that. Even though it's been like 30 minutes, people are still... Uh, yeah, look at him. Look at him. He's reaching his arms out. He's like, let me grab you. Let me grab you. Fuck off. Drink a lot so it would be all liquid. Oh, my God. Make it... Or you just bind yourself up. Drink a shitload of Pepto-Bismol. So then you don't poop for like five days, and then when you do, it's like a massive brick. It'd be like eating a quest bar. Because quest bars are fucking terrible. Quest bar, okay. Now we're getting, yeah, look, how many people are, so many people are leaving the stream, I don't even give a fuck. I, I, I love talking about this. Quest bars, quest bars. Gave me hemorrhoids. Unironically, quest bars mixed with creatine and not enough water gave me hemorrhoids my senior year. No lie. No lie. Do not mix the two. Hurricane for the sub. I'm traumatized. That sucks. All right, we're done talking about that. Let's talk about something else. Let's get off the human centipede conversation. Somebody ask me a different question so I can start talking about something else because I'll, I'll keep talking about this forever. Oh, somebody asked for an advice question. There we go. Joe, uh, Joe, my mother is a narcissist who will give you the silent treatment if you try to be a little independent. This year, I tried to get a job right after high school and she wanted me to get, she wanted to be the one to get me the job so I could, she could manipulate me after. I decided I should do it myself. She got mad after she found out I did it myself. What should I do? Tell her to fuck off. If you graduated high school and, like, your mom's trying to control your life, I hate to be that guy, but, like, you gotta be like, hey, uh, I'm gonna get my own fucking job. Like, don't, you, you shouldn't disrespect your parents, but, like, at the end of the day, if, like, you're, if you've graduated high school and you know what you want to do with your life and your parents are trying to, like, make you do something else with your life, they have no control over that. Like, I don't like that when parents are so controlling that they just, like, force their kid to do certain things they don't want to do. Like, let your kid be you. You know what I mean? So, like, if they if they do that, just tell them to go fuck themselves. Uh, someone ban Joe, bro. 
Bro, I need to qualify here. I literally need to qualify here. Oh my god, I need to qualify. Are you fucking kidding me? I, now I'm not gonna qualify. Speaking of poop. I need silver. I need silver. Oh my fucking god! I would have had that fucking gold. This game is so fucking annoying sometimes, I swear to god. Oh! <sighs> Run it back. Dom for the three. Uh, a three-year-old daughter, a three-year-old at my daughter daycare this week picked corn out of her poop and ate it. Was that traumatizing? King hey for the Joe, five love ten the streams bets. you make my life better. I wouldn't be here anymore if it wasn't for the laughs you give me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the nice. Oh, I just started it without sixty people. My bad. Would you rather break your finger or your big toe? What finger? It's like my pinky finger, my pinky finger. Talk about how shit New Jersey weather is. That's like an NPC conversation. Read my bits. Phil, for the five bits, I'd be the person in the front and eat corn and see if it makes it through all three of us. It would, because you can't digest corn. It would make it would make it through all three. I think the other human centipede movies, it's like a hundred people. I think I think it gets bigger and bigger. Like the progress of, of the experiment. Nah, but like, dude, literally, like, I hate talking. I, I'll talk about the weather if it's like this day. But like, I can only, I can only talk about the weather like once in a month, right? Like people that talk about the weather every day, like that blows my shit. Like that's such an NPC conversation. Like I, like I don't, I actually like look at them and I'm like, you can't be real. You're a lizard person. You really care about, uh, it, it, it's partly cloudy today and the high is like 72. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, it's, like I, I, I look at the weather if I'm doing something that involves me being outside. That's it. And I'll, I'll just look at it. I'm Show not going to have like a 20 minute conversation about like the fucking partly cloudy and the UV index and all that fucking bullshit. There's no shot I qualify. There's so many fucking people in front of me. Actually, maybe, 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 maybe. Qualify. Easy. Easy. Balls for the fringe bets. The the third human centipede movie uses 500 prisoners. See, but like, you know how much food the first guy... See, here's the issue. If you're in the 500 human centipede, if you're the guy in the front, you're they're going to be making you mac down so much food to get to the back. Like the last guys aren't going to eat. You know what I mean? And at that point they're eating just they're they're eating like 10 times digest, digested poop. Carson for the sub. What do you think about Elon Musk? I don't know. I don't keep up with Elon Musk. Stop talking about it. Should I stop talking about it, chat? My bad. I'll stop talking about the human centipede. You can't get me on these conversations. If you get me on these conversations, I'm just going to rant about it for like two hours. Please stop. I'm eating. What are you eating? Is it a Chipotle burrito with extra queso? Imagine if you were in the middle eating. <laughs> I got to stop. I got to stop. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That was the last thing I'm going to say. That's the last thing I'm going to say. A mat, look at that Chipotle burrito you're eating and just imagine if that was like three times digested and and then now you're going to eat it. Imagine it then. See, yeah, going right is so much faster. Like, it's so much fucking quicker. Get up, you fuck! I think I qualify here. I don't think there's 23 people in front of me. I think I'm, like, middle of the pack right now. Easy. 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 Oh, my God. Even easier. Oh, I'm clutching. Oh, I'm fucking passing everybody. Oh, don't do this to me. 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 Okay, didn't do it to me. I think I still qualify. I just got to fucking run. Go. Go qualify. I don't think 10 people are going to pass me that quick. Good shit. 
It almost did it to me, though. It almost fucked me over. That was almost really bad. That's literally what I'm eating. You're eating a Chipotle burrito with extra queso. That was a skill issue. That was me fucking up, but I still qualified. So we're chilling. Thoughts on Skylar White? Skylar White is one of the most, I would say, top top three most annoying TV show characters. Uh, she is so fucking annoying. She makes me dislike Breaking Bad. Um, I love Breaking Bad as a show, and I understand Skylar's, like, premise in the show. But if Skylar wasn't in the show, I would like Breaking Bad more. Like, if, if it was just Walter White as a single dad with uh Flynn <laughs> wait not Flynn Walter Jr he calls himself Flynn if it was if it was just Walter and Walter Jr and they both like chipped in on the meth lab like that would have been such a better show Saitama slams Goku in a 1v1 well no shit the whole premise of one punch man or Saitama is that he can kill anybody with one punch Goku isn't that who's the number one most annoying character Chat, who's the most annoying TV show or movie character? Dude, what is that noise? Is that someone fucking emoting? Like, what is that? The happy birthday song scene made me want to rip my skin off. Oh, where she, like, where she, like, like, oh, my God. The Skylar scene where she sings happy birthday, like, sexually. Oh, it's so fucking weird. And she, like, licks the candle or something. Oh, fuck no, dude. That's so gross. Ross from Friends. You think Ross from Friends is the most annoying character in a TV show ever? You already asked this? No, I didn't. I, I Did I actually ask that? I didn't read the answers. I might have already asked it. I think I gave... Ooh, I think I gave my only answer. Dude, I almost jumped off the map myself. Did I actually ask that already? My bad. I still want to read the answers, though. Umbridge from Harry Potter. I would, I would say, I would say from Friends, Ross is the most annoying, but I wouldn't say that he even breaks top 10 most annoying characters. Dude, I feel like no one ever gets eliminated in this fucking game mode. That's why they never play it, because it's just fucking hole in the wall. Patrick Star? No. You think Patrick Star is the most annoying character in, in TV history? I feel like that's impossible. A lot of people from The Office. The redhead girl from The Office. No. No. The fucking HR guy from The Office. Who's the fucking HR guy from The Office that has like... Dude, I don't even care. I know he's scripted to be annoying. I th Okay. No, I'm going to have a bad take here. I'm going to have a bad take here. Michael Scott from The Office. Top five most annoying TV show characters. Top five easily. Easily so annoying. Toby and Michael Scott. Annoying as all fuck. Mu the Office was better when Michael Scott wasn't in it. The, the last seasons of The Office are better than the first seasons of The Office. Change my mind. I know that's a fucking dead take. It's so cringe. I don't give two fucks. The Office is better without Michael Scott. Michael Scott ruins The Office. When, uh, when Michael Scott isn't in The Office, the show is actually about The Office rather than fucking Michael Scott. The first five seasons of The Office are just, like, dead about Michael Scott, and it's so fucking annoying. Like, I couldn't give two shits. I think it's an overrated show. Dude, I hate this game mode. This one's genuinely fucking impossible. You just gotta W key this shit and hope you don't get hit. It's fuck How is that kid already finished? How is that kid already fucking finished? That doesn't even make sense. Dude, he's- I, I, I haven't even gotten hit by anything. He's already fucking done. What? Oh, if you jump, you go fast. Oh, the hammer. He ran on the side. Is the side actually faster? Cherish for the sub. Wes for the sub. Rick and Morty or Family Guy? Family Guy's a bad show now. Uh, it's repetitive. The swinging hammers. I never use those in Fall Guys. I feel like the swinging hammers are just like... So risky. Like you either you either fuck yourself over, or it just swings you to the fucking end. Sorry that we all don't like being a nerd like you. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? 
What are, what is that in reference to? Sorry we don't like being a nerd like you. What are you even talking about? Do you know Samaris? Yeah. Sick burn. Sick burn, bro. I have no idea what the fuck you're even talking about. What is that in reference to? I'm a nerd? A nerd in what regard? What did I say that was being a nerd? Fuck off. Ah! Oh my god. This is the finals, right? Yeah, this is last one standing. I always lose these. Because I always fall off the map myself. I just gotta get a corner. And then I think I'm chilling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just chase me down, you fucking pussy. Go away, Sonic, you fucking loser. No, don't throw me off! Oh my god. Fuck off. Fuck off. Get that kid out. <gasps> Bro, the, I gotta stay in the middle. I gotta stay in the middle. I gotta stay in the middle. Bro, they're all... Damn, that shit just landed on him. Ah! Oh my god. Nah, go away. This is my fucking town. This is my... I will suicide bomb us. <gasps> I'm good. Uh-oh. We're good. We're alive. We're alive. We're alive. We're alive. We're top eight right now. I'm just gonna stand here until they respawn. I think I think hovering over one of these is the best play. How the fuck did that just explode out of nowhere? Go away! Oh my god, this is mine! I gotta get these kids out. Dude, I'm almost blowing myself off! Chat, what are the odds I win this? I think I can clutch. Nah, go away, bro. Bro, they're not getting eliminated. I feel like I gotta rush someone. Shit. That was a bad play. Bad play. Bad play. Bad play. It. Oh my god, dude. I didn't think it would blow. I didn't think it would blow up that fast. Oh wait, I said blowing myself off. Stop. Pause, 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 pause. <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck? Why is that getting eliminated? Oh, bro. I thought those stayed no matter what! I thought those never got eliminated! Little Brucey for the sub. Dude! I thought those couldn't go away. Oh my god, we'll see who wins. Uh-oh. Uh uh oh. Who the fuck won? They both fell off. <laughs> Winner, the Mega Wolf. Mom, I made it. Congratulations. Next game. Made the finals, though. We win this next one. We win this next one. Join up. I gotta go pee. Tell me now, 30 seconds. We're back. My God. I'll, I'll restart the queue after this because I saw like 20 people were still in the game. So after this, I'll make a new lobby. You made it back in two seconds. No, I think I was actually late. Uh, Samaris said hi. He wants to collab one day in Fall Guys. I'd be down. I'd be down to play Fall Guys with Samaris. What server am I on? It's a custom game. You just join from the code. I don't even think it's a fucking server. Isn't the server the custom game? I don't think you need to be on a certain server to join. I should have hopped on today. You should have. I don't know. Should we do Should we do multiverses later, chat? Or should we just do a full Fall Guys stream? I'll do whatever. 
Fall Guys multi. Yeah. I feel like we could I feel like we could do more Fall Guys than multiverses, but we could end with multiverses. So we could do Fall Guys for like another 30, 45 minutes and then go after. Well, of course it's after eight. Of course it's after eight. The one kid that just stream snipes me every day. Do you have anything else to do other than fucking join my Fall Guys games every time I play Fall Guys and fucking stream snipe me? It's the same kid every single fucking time. If it's a ninja skin, it's him. And I'm not gonna fucking qualify. Actually, maybe there's a chance. I dove pretty far. I dove pretty far. Easy, easy, easy. We qualify. <laughs> fucking tech! Dub. Let's see if let's let's see if after eight got off. Yes, after eight is back. After eight sucks, bro. Stop. Did he get out? Oh, he's still in. That's so annoying. Uh, Zussi, I just saw your text. Uh, yeah, we could. We, I, I don't know. I might do solo queues, because I haven't done solo queues in Multiverses in a bit. That was the, the last time I did that was during the sponsor stream. Somebody says, at Joe Bartolozzi, you are like such a bitch. Why is that? Harley Quinn. I'll probably show you guys how I main Harley Quinn now. But I might get shit on. What's your opinion on Andrew Tate? Um, Andrew Tate is kind of crazy. He also is a... P I think he's a good businessman. Uh, I think he's a bad person. Um, but, like, people that say he's stupid, I wouldn't say that. Like, I would say he's just... I, I would say his takes on just general life things are stupid, but, like, monetary-wise, he's smart. But he is not a... a I, I, like, there's a bunch of shit he's gotten in, like, fucking prison for. Dude, how do I fucking cross these? Holy shit. Holy fuck, stay up. We're good. We're good. Making it cross, making it cross. Fuck off. Literally just trying to grab me. Actually annoying as fuck. Dude, I never qualify these. I genuinely don't think I'll qualify this. Because I fucking never do. Go! Damn! Holy shit! Dude, these Fall Guys game modes are getting fucking way harder. Holy shit, that's fast. Holy shit, that's fast. Okay, slow walk. Slow walk. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. Don't let him hit me off. Don't let him hit me off like a fucking cock. Don't let him hit me off. We're gonna jump past him. We're gonna jump past him. We're gonna ignore him. He's right behind me. He's trying to grab me. He's actively trying to grab me, and I think he just fucking fell off and got eliminated. <gasps> no! Go! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now I have to be fast. Now I have to be fast. Now I have to be fast. This shit's creeping up. This shit's creeping up. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck! This game sucks. This game's actually so trash. This game is actually so trash. Like, uh, bro. Take up ban? How do you get past that? It's just the same fucking rotating thing. My God. <sighs> the fuck am I looking for? It says searching for players. What am I searching for? We'll run back a few customs. We're not going to do solos. We'll keep doing customs. Uh, We'll probably do like four more customs. And then we'll go to multiverses for like the last hour or so. Do a fat bong rip to win. I'm not 21. That, that, that would be illegal. And it would be TOS. Goku for the sub. It would be TOS. It, it, t smoking, uh, smoking weed on Twitch isn't TOS. I will do it when I'm 21, but you can't on stream when you're not 21, obviously. Because that would just be... You d You would be literally doing something illegal on stream. Um, So, yeah, now. Opinions on yourself? I am for the sub. My opinion on myself? I don't fucking know. So you finally admit it? I didn't admit shit. What do you mean I admitted something? I didn't admit shit. Dude, this one is so ass. Every Dude, every time I play customs with my chat, they give me the worst stream sniping maps. It's just like I'm going to get fucking swarmed. I'm not going to be able to run past. You said uh, Arvath for the sub. You said you will when I'm 21. Yes. 
I said I will smoke on stream when I'm 21. That does not mean I smoke weed. I plead the fifth on those. I fell at Walmart today. Joe, I'm sorry to hear that. On aliens, space, conspiracy theory. It's a lot of fucking questions. What's my take on aliens? Um, just, just a little fun fact. Uh, the government... I know UFOs don't mean aliens. But during COVID, if you ever watched the news, the, the news stations kind of like subtly... Uh, gave away that the government released like UFO footage. Like genuine UFO footage. Like Google it. Like there's there's genuine news stories on UFOs. Like they, they confirmed exist. Like like just things that have been appearing for years that they have no explanation for. Weed is legal either is illegal either way. Uh no it's not. Not in New Jersey. Uh in New Jersey they you can buy weed at stores. <laughs> uh I don't think uh, you probably live in a state where it's not legal and probably didn't know that, but yeah, no, the UFO, UFO government released YouTube. Let me actually show you guys the video. More intelligence responsibilities. Dude, this was like, show this you willing to rate the new tattoo I got? Government not, I get shows it. UFOs. S uh, I don't know. I'm going to look up MSNBC. Let me actually show you guys this. So do you I'm getting too many bit donors right now. Light for the sub, Earth to one for the 1500 bits, load for the 300 bits. Willing to rate a new tattoo I got. If not, I get it. Probably not because I don't know how I would see it. Uh, load for the 300 bits. Uh, do you smoke weed and alcohol in your free time? Do I smoke alcohol? Freakies. Hold up. Look, this was released during COVID. Stuff. Okay, so the first extraterrestrial I saw was riding a bike in the sky and wanted to phone okay, home. Okay, shut the fuck up. You're trying to be entertaining. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Just show me it can exist but when we start talking about advanced life if you look at the example of earth or something around 90 percent of earth's existence That's if you would come here the before bets. the last 600 billion years you would dude this is the not the video that i was trying to look for hold up no but there's like it that's one of the only cool things that i found out like a while ago like the the a bunch of news stations did stories about like the pentagon confirming ufos and then just never talked about it again in response to Elizondo after he was Hornet dating at Oh my god, I don't want to fucking read this cringe shit. Just show me the videos. This is the videos of them. The 2004 it's like a bunch of uh, military, it, like, over the past, like, 20 years, every so often the military sees these objects that move so fast, like, comparable to the plane technology we have now, disappear and then reappear, like, out of nowhere. And for the first, like, few years, they wrote it off as, like, a mishap or like some glitch in the system but it happens so often that they like they just like they're just like yeah ufos exist we don't know what they are but they exist i just think that's crazy uh no but i think there's intelligent life uh on other planets if you're if that's what you mean by aliens there are aliens for sure i don't know if they're more intelligent than us but likely if we're seeing ufos and stuff like that all right what the fuck is this uh, did i not did i qualify for the game no, I didn't qualify. Get me out of here. What is the biggest thing the government's hiding? I have no idea. Why would I know that? Why would why would I know that? If it's an unidentified flying, flying object, that means they don't know what it is. Yeah, I'm not saying that it's aliens. I'm saying that it's weird that it's an object that is technological that flies that fast and they don't know what it is. So, like, it has to be from some other planet or something else. Like, that's what I don't get. How they say, yeah, it's, we don't know what it is, but we're not going to say it's aliens. Like, yeah, no shit, but it's still some sort of technology. Nah, bro, if those were aliens in UFOs, I'll be scared because if they want, they can destroy us. If you had the option of an alien probing you, would you let it happen? If it meant that you would know that aliens exist. Would you let one probe you? Yes. Dude, I remember there was one time I was I was on vacation. This was like three years ago. I was laying on the ground. I was looking at the stars. And this one object kept moving like fast as fuck back and forth. And I like, I like lean over. And I'm like, I'm like talking to myself. I'm like what the fuck and i like say to myself i'm like if you're an alien come closer swear to god on my life uh 
Not even fucking five. Uh, does that reset me to the start? Okay, GG's. 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 Run it back. GG's. That resets me to the fucking start. That re dude, shit ass game. Shit ass game after this. I'm going to fucking multiverses. No lie. Like after the dude, two more games of this. Max. That resets me to the fucking start. I like that was like 30 seconds. No, but it went the light got closer and I freaked the fuck out. Some kid that got banned on July 19th, 2021 is asking to get him banned, but you denied his crest last year. Uh, what did he get banned for? Filth for the 500 bets. You got to tell me that. No, nah, but people see, like, I think a majority of UFO sightings are just ba like base bullshit. Like, I think people are just seeing shit. Like, a majority of UFO sightings are planes. Uh, base spam, then unban them. Like, most UFO sightings are, like, just planes. <laughs> Like, I, like, and people don't realize that they're planes. They're just high up, right? But I will say there are some UFO sightings, like the ones that the government released, where it's like, you literally, they're not planes. They're not planes. They're not something man-made. It's something that they don't know what it is. What do you think happens in Area 51? I don't think they have aliens captured in Area 51. I think they might have technology we don't know about, but not aliens. I do know a guy, though. I told you guys this story. I know a guy that works uh, not for Area 51, but he works on, like, the government fighter jets and shit, and he has all this classified info that he can't tell. And I was like, are aliens real? And he said, I can't tell you. Like, I don't know if he was fucking with me, but, like, I was like, what? I was like, what do you mean? And he works for, like, he works... And he was like, I can't say, he was like, I just can't say, he, and then he tried to correct himself. I was like, you saying I can't say makes it seem like they're real, right? But then he corrected himself and he was like, oh, I, I more so mean that like, I can't just share any info. And I was like, bro, you just fucking told me I, I can't tell you. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Why wouldn't you I just say no? Why wouldn't you lie? I was just say no. Summer and not in school, ironically, and like, what the fuck? Ago. Like, that was, that was sketch to me. No, I'm definitely done with Fall Guys after this. Definitely done with Fall Guys for a while after this. No why? The stream sniping is just in absurd. Yep, there's after eight. Ban him. Actually ban him. Actually ban him for my chat. No lie, ban him. Actually, no, don't ban him. Time him out for like eight hours. Joe, just what's your take off. on paranormal activity and hunting things like animals? Fuck off! Bro, they literally won't stop. Like, holy shit. And I qualify, and you're not going to qualify, you fucking pussy. Oh, my God. Ari for the 300 bits. I'm going to start being in streams more often. I was busy in the summer, not in school, ironically, and my school just started. Uh, I'm going to switch. I'm still in my summer stream schedule for the next week. Uh, but the 29th, I'm, I'm going to start streaming probably around 4.30 uh, for, the, for the school year. And then, and then we'll go from there. Uh, except it's weekends. Weekends... Weekends the entire year, I start stream at 2 p.m. EST. Um, but during the school year, I stream at, like, 4.30 p.m. start time. Pie for the 300 bets. What's your take on paranormal activity and hunted things like Annabelle? Uh, I don't know. That, like, extreme paranormal stuff I think is fake, but just general, maybe. I don't know. Uh, wait, I'm going to actually do another poll. When do I start streams August 29th? Starting August 29th, I'm doing my summer stream schedule. When should I start uh, stream? 4 p.m., 4.30 p.m., or 5? I've done a question on this a lot. I just want a better gauge because whatever I pick, I'll be doing for the rest of the school year. So I just want to know. But like, how would the government Realistically, know I think I'm probably going to start streaming at 4.30 how would they know? most days. Just because I think, I think starting at 4.30, people in the West Coast can uh, see half my stream. And people on the east and middle of the United States can see basically every stream uh, at the start. Dude, like, they won't leave me alone. Literally, they won't leave me alone. This is why this game's trash. This is why this game is trash. There should be some implementation against this. We're, we're done. We're going to multiverses. I'm, like, I, I'm just not playing that game anymore. Like, I, like, I literally... Bro, it's so ass. It's so ass. GMT, EST. EST. Okay, most people are voting 4. Yeah, 4.30... 4.30 p.m., it gives me a leeway where, like, some days I could stream at 4 and some days I could stream at 5. Because every Thursday, like, how my school schedule works, uh, during the school year starting August 29th, weekdays, other than Tuesday, because I don't stream Tuesdays, I'll start stream at 4.30, around 4.30 p.m. EST. Some days a little later, some days a little earlier. Uh, but weekends will still always be too. 
All right, we're going to go to Multiversus. Uh, Multiversus grind time. All right, here we go. Do y'all still play Multiversus? I feel like I don't know how many more times I'm going to stream this game. Like, it's fun, but I don't know. I don't know how often people still play it. I feel like it's still popular. Hold up. I'm going to move my shit over here because I think this is where I have it when I play Multiversus. All right, there we go. Uh, ba -ba 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 I don't like it much anymore. This will probably be one of the... For Fall Guys and Multiversus, uh, this is probably going to be... Like, I'll probably still stream Multiversus and Fall Guys another time. But this will be one of the last times in a while. What I mean by that is, like, I probably won't play the game, like, every week. I used to be playing Fall Guys every week in the summer. I'll probably start playing Fall Guys, like, once a month or something like that. Not for the sub. Uh, just because we got a lot of new games that we're doing and a lot of games that we haven't played. Like, I haven't played Rocket League in, like, two months. I haven't played Fortnite in a while. Uh, we're doing Fortnite next Thursday, though, so, yeah. Play FNAF Security Breach? Yeah, never. Can you, re can you review my website? No. Did you not get the update? What do you mean, not get the update? Uh, all right. Let's queue. Let's queue. Let me show you guys my fucking main. Let me show... Where's the new characters? Isn't there new characters? Or is it, or is it half updated? When are they adding new characters? When are they adding? I thought I thought there was new characters. I thought they were adding new characters. Am I wrong? I think I'm just crazy. Not for the sub. Like, weren't they at? Weren't they supposed to add like Rick and like a bunch of other? Oh, dude, Harley v Harley. This is about to be a fucking matchup. It's about to be a fucking matchup. I'll just auto equip everything else other than this. Let's go. It got postponed. Oh. Because they have a new load. Why, why add a new loading screen if the new characters aren't in the game? That's just confusing. What's the Red Dead Redemption 2 streaming schedule? Wednesdays. Next Wednesday, I will start Red Dead Redemption 2. If I like it, I'll keep playing it. If I don't like it, we'll switch to another game the week after that. They removed the spam invites? Yeah, they did. When I did that, when I did that fucking sponsored multiverse stream and I just got spam invited the whole time? Oh, my God. That was ass. But the game was still good. Dodge. Dude, if I lose to a level 3 Harley, I'm just gonna get- I'm gonna get back on Fall Guys. We're getting back on Fall Guys if I lose this match. No lie, I'm getting back. You're just up smashing! You're doing the same fucking move! You're doing the same fucking move! Oh my god! Do something else! Holy shit! Dude, literally just side, side X, up X. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh my, okay. Yeah, no, we might have, oh my god, I might be out of here. Oh, I might be out of here. Oh, oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Dude, we might even go to reactions. Oh, we might even go to fucking reactions on this bitch. Fuck this. Oh, fuck this. Holy shit! Get out of here, bro! Holy fuck! Oh my god! So annoying! Dude, am I this bad or are they just fucking memeing me? How about Valorant? No, I played Valorant for four hours yesterday. We're probably playing it on Monday, too. Get out of here, bro! Nah, and then they're gonna fucking get me off the map here. Nope, not dealing with that shit. Yeah, and you fall off the map like a fucking idiot. How did you not fall off? What the fuck? Get out of here! Damn! Nah, I'm actually getting fucking mad. I'm actually getting so fucking mad. Ugh, 
I need a clutch up. Dude, I'm being dead silent because if I fucking lose this. Oh, no, I'm dead. We're good. Damn, bitch. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Get her out of here! You're fucking garbage. You're fucking garbage. You've never been good at the game. You will never be good at the game. I'm sweating my ass off right now. I'm starting to freak the fuck out there. Easy fucking win. You're terrible. You're fucking terrible. I own you in this fucking game. Rematch me, bitch. Rematch me, bitch. Rematch that shit. Rematch that shit, you lose again. Fucking get okay. outplayed. Out fucking played. Oh, holy fuck. Holy fuck. I was getting mad. Giovanni for the sub. Will Eth for the Prince Bets. Hey, Joe, you should play the South Park game. The Stick of Truth games? I feel like half of those games are just TOS. Like, the majority of the game is TOS. After this, we're I'm, I'm not playing multiverses. I'm just going to rage the entire time. I want to not rage. We're going to go to reactions after this. We'll do a little small reactions. We'll still do... Because tomorrow... Tomorrow, should I start with reactions or second thoughts? Because I'm doing... I'm, tomorrow's going to be a half and half stream. I might start with reactions tomorrow, too. What is second thoughts? It's like a philosophy game. Uh, it's like cool. It's it, like it's just like it's like a which do you choose game. You like I I don't know how to describe it. You'll see tomorrow. We'll do um we'll do we'll do we'll do reactions after this rematch for like the last hour of the stream. Um, because I have a shitload of videos. Tomorrow we'll probably start with reactions and with second thoughts, and then Sunday would be a full reaction stream. Monday would probably do Val. Tuesday I'm off. Wednesday, we're going to start that dead. Damn, dodge. Damn. Joe, you probably have a lot of reaction videos stocked up, but if you ever have the time, you should react to Donut Operator's videos. He does shooting breakdowns and cop stuff. It's Dude, I'm trying to fucking down X. Get out. Get out. Oh, there's a little bouncy thing there for you. You're getting fucking shafted this game. You fucking suck. Get out of here. Get out of here. Thank fuck. I just had a warm up. You're fucking ass. Yep. No, 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 no. Relax, 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 relax there. Relax there, relax there. Miss me on those. Miss me on those. Oh, you hit me with the bomb? Good shit. Too bad it's not gonna fucking do anything to me. I'm a fucking menace. Damn it. Dude! No, 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 Stay alive. I'm too owing. I'm too owing. I'm staying alive here. Victory! So good. I'm like, I'm so good at this game. I'm like so good at this game now. It's actually insane. Joab for the three bets. You, should, you probably have a lot of reactions stocked up, but if you ever have time, react to Donut Operator videos. He does breakdowns and cop stuff. It's interesting. For sure. You nearly lost that round? No, I didn't. I had I still had another life. Even if they got me out, I would have I would have lived Verbus. I don't think you understand how video games work, man. I'm sorry. I don't think you understand how smash ass games work. I would if I died there, I still would have lived. I would have just respawned. You enjoy Red Dead as it is one of my fab game of all time. All right. All right. We'll go to reactions. We'll go to reactions. Fake for the 300 bets. I hope that you enjoyed the Red Dead as one of my most favorite games of all time. Chat, do you guys want me to play Red Dead Redemption 2? A lot of my chat said yeah, but I don't know if I'm going to like it. I feel like I will, but a part of me also thinks I won't. Michelle for the 300 bets. We'll do a poll. 
We'll do a poll. I'm not, not today. Do you, next story game, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2, question mark, yes or no? Yes, meaning play it. No, meaning don't play it. Uh, I think, I think we'll like it. I think we'll like it. We'll go to reactions now. We'll go to reaction now. Reactions, reactions, reactions. Yeah, multiverse is a little quick, a little quick win. Then we just pop out. Red Dead is just GTA with cowboys. Plus, it has a great story. Yeah, then I think I okay. Yeah, most of my chat saying yes, play it. Uh, twenty five percent are saying no, but I feel like they would have said the same thing for fucking Walking Dead. Uh, fake for the three hundred bets. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna try it out. Second thoughts. I'm, I'm, let me actually read that game for tomorrow. Second thoughts game. Like tomorrow. Tomorrow, the Second Thoughts game is a psychological text-based game where each day you're a task with executing someone based on limited information. That is, the, that is the name of the game that we're playing tomorrow, but it'll be after reactions. Second Thoughts is a psychological text-based game where each day you're a task with killing somebody based on limited info, info. So you just read shit, but you kill people. It's like, cool. Uh, all right. We're going to watch... <sighs> what videos should we watch? Oh, there's another cut, terminate one. Yeah, we'll watch this. TOS? That's not TOS. You're just saying TOS. Saying that Motherfuckers just say TOS to say TOS. It's like, fuck, half the people that just spam TOS don't even know what it means. All right, we're going to watch like two. We'll be able to get like through two average videos. Oh, we still have to watch like Sneeko and all that shit later too. Pod, Play it and bets. what should I eat for dinner? Also, I don't know. Uh, McDonald's. <laughs> uh, uh, steak. Something. Uh, we're gonna watch these two videos. Uh, we're gonna cue these two. Uh, another terminate your date with one click of the button. They added another one. It's another cut video. And then we'll watch how Domino's Pizza mascot caused a hostage situation. Uh, we'll watch these two, then we'll end. Lamp for the sub. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna do reactions and, uh, second thoughts. Sunday will be full reactions. Monday. Monday we actually might not do Val. Monday we might. Monday we might not. I don't know. We'll decide. Uh, but if you have any videos that you want me to watch, exclamation point Discord, send them into Discord for today, tomorrow, and Sunday, uh, and just any other reaction day. But yeah. All right. First video that we're watching. Terminate your date with one click of the button. Heelys. Yeah. What are Heelys? Heelys are shoes that have wheels in them. So would you consider yourself a skater? You know what? You can. <laughs> I wasn't Actually, saying that. Oh that. my God. Only when I light up red can you press me. Oh no. Yeah. Shit. Wow. Um, Welcome oh, that's to the so button awkward. speed dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all expenses paid second date. This? I feel like lasting on a speed date for 10 minutes means almost nothing. Like that's small talk, you know what I mean? Like if you last 10 minutes on a speed date, and then you get an all expenses paid date. Like what, what and they always say all expenses paid date. We've watched two of these other videos by now. All expenses paid date. To where? Fucking cracker barrel. Like you're acting like it's like some vacation. Oh, you're going to the Caribbean for a fucking week. It's it's like a forty dollar date, probably. Is the button. Hello. Anthony for the thousand bucks. The date has begun. How about you introduce yourselves? I was just working on she, that She's button. already looking at the button. She's going to press that shit. No lie. She presses that shit. Saying it right now. I'll move my cam. Should I move my cam down here so you can see him? Fuck. Nah, but no lie. She presses that shit. She was eyeing up that fucking button. Eyeing that shit up. I'll move it down here. Yeah, for this one. Then all the other videos will we'll, we'll do it in another area. But here, for these videos, you want to see both of their faces. So we'll just move it down. <laughs> my name's Evan. My name's Hannah. She's, Hannah she's about to. Oh my she God! Is. They're both ready to fucking press that shit. That man's fiending for the button. You don't need. You don't even ask her. You don't even ask her a general question. Hannah doesn't wash her bed sheets very often. Does anyone wash their bed sheets very often? How how often do you guys wash your bed sheets? It's not like a fucking daily thing. You wash your bed sheets like once every few weeks. Awesome for the sub. It's yeah, like once a month. You wash your bed sheets like 12 times a year. Like once every three to four weeks. Often. 
It's kind of off topic. <laughs> Six months. <laughs> Are we talking like two weeks? Maybe like a month. That's normal. That's like, that's, that's normal. Once a month. You fucking wash your bed sheets. What's wrong with that? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and how frequently do you wash your bed sheets? I feel like it's every two weeks. I thought that was kind of long, but to each their own. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. okay. <laughs> you thought that was kind of long? What are you fucking smearing shit in your bed? You're not going to bed dirty. What are you fucking waking up covered in sweat? Like you don't need to wash your bed sheets that often unless... Uh, that's like... <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Dude, you know that... Like you don't need to do that. It's the same thing as like jeans. When people like change... People will wear like a, a pair of jeans and then fucking wash them like after wearing them for two hours. I don't know if this is an L take, but in my opinion, you can wear jeans three times before you have to wash them. Because it's just, it, it's non-absorbent. It's like a material, it doesn't get dirty. Unless you're outside dirty, like, if you wear a pair of jeans, you can wear them, like, four times. Like, literally. Like, there's no need. They're not, they're not gonna smell, they're not gonna absorb anything. It's just, it, 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 they're just jeans. Same thing with your bed sheets. Unless you're going to bed dirty, like, you don't need to wash them that often. It's more so just, like, they get all wrinkly, and then, like, eventually, yeah, they get gross. But that's, like, that's if you leave them for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Evan. You are eliminated. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> I hate her shirt. I fucking hate that shirt. I don't know. I just hate leopard print. I think leopard print is just, like, reserved for grandmas. Hi, guys. Hi, I love your hair. <laughs> I really like your eyeliner. Thank you. <laughs> what do you like to do? I like to play volleyball. Oh, really? And I play volleyball, too. Really? Yeah, What's I your play position? High school? Um, I was in the back where I was a hitter. Is volleyball a gay sport? <sighs> yes. The spandex. The spandex. <laughs> what is a gay sport? He got rejected faster than my dad What is a gay me. sport? That doesn't even make sense. A sport is for everybody. Being, being homosexual or heterosexual has no definitive... Uh, ideology on where you're going for fucking for for a sport i like to play volleyball oh really and i play volleyball too really yeah, what's I your played position in high school. um i was in the back where i was a hitter is volleyball a gay sport <sighs> yes you weren't in the back i mean that was like your main position but everybody rotates in volleyball the spandex <laughs> the spandex that's what got us <laughs> yeah are you attracted to each other yeah i think you're cute yeah, I'm, <laughs> I think you're like I'm hot. I'm <laughs> Which is like intimidating me. <laughs> what are you two looking for in a partner? Like friend first and like someone you can lean on, like definitely more like emotional yeah. like side of things first. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I'm actually a sex worker, so like oh. I am a sexual Imagine she just goes Argh! person. So like mm -hmm. I can if I wanted to like just have sex with someone I could, but I want like No No Sorry Sapphire. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> There's no shot her real name is Sapphire. There is I I would put money that her real name is not Sapphire. There's no fucking chance. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, why'd you do that? It kind of caught me off guard that she was a sex worker, and she kind of like intimidated me, and that that was. She intimidated great. me too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad we're together. Hello. <laughs> How are we going? So, when was Bro, the last he looks time like you Mr. Clean? Jesus Christ, that was a shiny head. I had sex. <laughs> oh, we. What a bad! I hate this shit. Uh, whoever the fuck is running these questions to try and get them to know each other is just annoying the fuck out of me. Like, we watched these other two, like, what, like, two weeks ago or some shit? They'll be like, yeah, uh, she doesn't shave her armpits. Yeah, she doesn't shave down there. I hope you know that. Like, just out of nowhere. Just, like, that's not what, that's not, like, a leading question. Are you, like, I remember there was one time it was, like, it, the button, the button, or the lady that speaks into the button was like, are you a virgin? Like, what the fuck? Yo, that is a neck beard. A neared? Isn't that what it's called? A neared? A neck beard? A neared? Show for the 300 bits. Uh, we're fall for the sub.
to go? Damn. It's just like a hookup? No, uh, somebody that I've been seeing casually for a little while. Are you Patrick, are you Polly? I am, yes. Oh. Yes. Okay, have uh, you like been What does Polly mean? Does it, what does Polly mean? I gotta Google that. I've heard it before. Polysexual is somebody attracted to multiple people of multiple genders. People who identify as polysexual often use that word because it suggests a greater variety of sexual orientations than traditional genders, binary, male, hetero, homosexual. It means pan. It's definitely not the same as pan because then they would just say pan. Polysexual is about who are you are attracted to while polyamory is about how structured your romantic relationship is. Well, they didn't clarify that. Mr. Outdoors for the sub. A polyamorous relationship before? I, uh... He looks like Vsauce? No, he doesn't. He looks nothing like Vsauce. Do you know who... Do you think this fuck looks like Vsauce? Have you ever seen Vsauce? Uh, this is my first... Because he is bald and has a beard? It's like that you could say anybody that's bald and has a beard looks like this guy then. This is your last. Bye, Patrick. Thanks Why did you reject sub. him? Non-monogamous. Okay. Kind of like put me off, I guess. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. I love your eyeliner. Thank you. I love your makeup too. Thank you. The green. Okay. Well, color. we saw the preview, so I'm assuming she presses the button on on color. the other. It's my favorite. It's my favorite color. color. Yeah, I love the color green. Not the fucking. Not the. Thank you. The not green. the no favorite finger color. gloves. Color. It's my favorite. Not the no finger gloves. That's a fashion statement. I'm gonna say this. In my opinion, no finger gloves, literally, why do they exist? Why do they exist? It's my favorite okay. color. Yeah, I love the color green. So, yeah. so anyway, what, why are you up I here? I hate no I finger gloves. I think, I actually think that it's, in my opinion, one of the worst clothing things there is. What's the point? What, so your palms stay warm and then they get sweaty and then your fingers stay cold? Doesn't make sense. Executioner for the sub. You go to school here. What do you study? Graphic design. So do I. You're kidding. I said graphic design. <laughs> you both have so much in common. I mean, you both yeah. have so much in common. Did you know? And then they're going to say, that's what, it's always the button. The button tries to fucking ruin it. You guys have so much in common. Uh, did you know Clarissa shits the bed? Did you know Clarissa shits the bed at least twice a week? Yes, so that's what it's gonna say. It's gonna say some fuck shit. Personality traits, right here. Damn! These motherfuckers, dude. Everybody's so fake on this fucking show. Everybody's so fake. They're all sitting there like, yeah, we have so much in common, and then they fucking just gun to press the button right when it opens. <laughs> Sorry, Hannah. Sorry. You were <laughs> You're so nice. Um, loved meeting you. You're amazing. Yes. You had so much in common. I know. I just wasn't feeling the spark. And then also, if I'm being maybe because you're on a fucking cut YouTube video in a warehouse by a green screen, and you're meeting someone that also came here to probably get paid for the YouTube video. I don't think you're gonna find love in a cut YouTube video. Sorry to break the news to you. Honest. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think this is where you're going to find someone that you're in love with. They are probably getting paid just to talk. That's what I'm saying. They're it, it, like, they're here. Like, they're definitely getting paid. Some of the people before were just like, she buzzed them out really fast. And I don't know Big about that vibe. I don't know. Do you think I'm cute? I mean, yeah. Oh I my mean... God, shut the fuck up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Whoever's running the button has got to get out of here. Let me commentate the button, please. In my gender, I see myself as like a green orb in my mind, so I feel like a button works just as good. I love that. <laughs> but I do, I do fear AI a, a lot. Okay, rude. Let's bring in the next date. It's not AI. Hello. Heelys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your name? Emil. Emil. Nice. Yeah. I'm Pi. Pi? Mm -hmm. your handshake? Handshake, yeah. Nice to meet what you. What are Heelys? Are you at? Bun doesn't know anything. Doesn't, okay. Yeah. You want to take this one? I mean, you're wearing them. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Heelys are shoes that have, um... Weren't Heelys discontinued because people got injured too much? And why is a grown man wearing Heelys? Like, I fucking love Heelys. I would, w I want a pair of Heelys. Uh, no lie, I would, I would buy a pair of Heelys. But if I'm going on a date, 
I'm not going to wear Heelys. You know, I'm not going to be sporting my fucking, my, my slide shoes on a fucking speed date. Like, I feel like, I feel like those are reserved for like a walk, a stroll through the town. That's when you wear the Heelys. Wheels. Bob for the thrush bets. In them. So would you consider- Oh, he's so awkward. Oh, he's so awkward. Myself a skater. I consider myself an ex skater. Is it because the wheels aren't there? It's because what? Oh, on the Heelys right now. Oh yeah. You know what? You can't. I wasn't Actually, saying that. Oh my god. To yeah, say I that like I just that. hit one year of being Only when I light up bro, red, so can you press me? W. In about oh, a week, you'll go bro, back to like, watching your bro, screen piece. Okay, bro, bro. This is what I'm gonna say. The fucking the bullshit of like leaving leaving the button blue and until it's red, they're gonna press it. Like, if they press it before, they're, like, it, it, there's no point. Just let them press the button when they want to press the button, right? Because, like, he just pressed the button. He just solidified that he doesn't want to talk to her. So, like, even if they can't press the button now, when it goes red, one of them's going to press it for the sole fact that he pressed the button. Like, it doesn't make sense. Just let them press it when they want to. Arsenal for the three-inch bets. I tuned in to say that I just hit one year being subbed to you, bro. That's a dub. Massive dub. In about a week, I'll go back to you watching your stream. Peace. Word. I'll see you then. This is awkward. Oh no. Yeah, Shit. wow. Wow. Um, this is so cringe. It is. I'm dying. I just, okay, I'm just gonna up. hit the button. No, no I'm gonna, I wanna You're hit it now. No, now we both wanna hit the button button. I mean, I was vibing until you wanted to you make me leave, so... Well, shit. This is so what awkward. What are you two looking for in a partner? Let's try and save this. <laughs> yeah, yeah save no. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna save that. See, that's what I mean. I don't think it's, I don't think it's savable. I don't think you're gonna be, ever be able to save that. Yeah. <laughs> um, basically, uh, I'm looking for a partner who understands Healy's. I do, is what I'm saying. You do? Okay. Yes. Right, cool. That right, was cool. not making fun. Why is he so pressed about fucking Healy's? That's the make or break for you, whether or not whether or not your partner is a fucking Healy's advocate. Who the fuck cares? It's like it's such a minimal aspect of your life. You really care that someone cares? No, it there, it wasn't a joke because he actually got pressed. He pressed the button because she fucking got mad about the Healy's. Fun of you for the Healy's. You like the Cure? The Cure? <laughs> Sorry, I'm here. What? Why did you reject him? It just seemed like a certain type that has approached me before and made me not feel great. So I don't know. <laughs> I hope they're not talking shit about me back there. Yeah, you've been. Make. Wait, what did she say about him? Reject him. It just seemed like a certain type that has approached me before and made me not feel great. So I don't know. <laughs> a certain type that has approached me before and made me feel not so great. What is she saying? <laughs> I hope they're not talking shit about me back there. Yeah, you've been here for a minute. A little bit, yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Leah. Leah, yeah. I'm Pi. Okay, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Leah is kind of famous on TikTok. <laughs> tell me, tell me about your, how many, how many followers? Not that many. Not that many? Uh, just like 135,000. That is not famous on TikTok. That is not, that is not, I wouldn't even say, dude, I wouldn't even say I'm famous. And I have 19 million. Famous, famous on TikTok or like TikTok clout is like what five mil. Joe, shut up, dude. You could get, you could, you're famous. You have 19 million. What, bro, dude, 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 dude. You, any of you, could start an account on TikTok right now and get 100k followers in four in three weeks. I'm not even lying. After that, it's probably not going to go anywhere because you have to be fucking dead consistent with that shit and grow. But, like, dude, if you have one video blow up on TikTok, you'll get 100,000 followers. Like, no lie. Like, I, like, it's not, yeah, 100K isn't famous. 19 mil definitely is. I mean, 19 million is TikTok famous, but I would not say I'm famous. I would say I have clout. Not that many. It's, it's really just... not. <laughs> what do you make? What do you do on TikTok? Uh, <laughs> is it cringy? <laughs> like, thirst traps, I guess. Oh, thirst traps. But it's like comedy, like comedic. I've watched it. Yeah. <laughs> a comedic thirst trap. What is a comedic thirst trap? I've never seen a comedic thirst trap in my entire life. You know, I tried to make a comedic thirst trap one time and I lost 5,000 followers in 30 seconds. That was a day. <laughs> that was like two years ago I tried to do that. Yeah. Yeah. What, what kind of dating things do you like to do? I'm, Anybody I'm... remember that? Anybody? That was, that was like right after I graduated high school. That was probably, I probably had like, 
one mil then i'm kind of like a big activity person i like to be doing things yeah I, I, well i guess it's like a high and a low sometimes i just want to like stay in take a nap together i love like somebody who could take a nap with me yes that's yeah. so sweet i love that so much i get why you've been here so long you're very likable oh my god thank you so yeah much. it seems like the two of you really compliment each other well i was gonna say i think you're super cool they so. don't compliment each other at all like this is just they haven't said anything of value she talked about her TikTok. And they said they both like cuddling and sleeping. Who the fuck doesn't like that? That does not mean you're... That doesn't mean you're in common. I think 99% of people in relationships like cuddling with their partner. That makes no sense. I think you're cool too. Like, <laughs> Leah, where would you take pie on a second date? Like a picnic sounds really good. Yes. That would be so lovely. No. Yeah. No. Dude, it, no. No. Nah, 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 it, nah, 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 nah. A picnic, maybe a charcuterie board? Fuck you. No, I hate that shit. Charcuterie boards is such a fucking Gen Z hippie thing. And yo, no hate to hippies. I'm kind of like, I'll have some hippie takes. But like, bro, charcuterie boards, if you don't even know what that is, it's just a fucking board with a bunch of cheese and meat on it. So ass. So ass. That and fucking, uh, oh, maybe, maybe a picnic with some avocado toast? Fuck off. Fuck off. No. Rape for the sub. And maybe I could come? I don't know if we need you for the prompts anymore. I'm gonna light up red one more time. I'll give you both one more chance to press the button. And if you don't, then I think we have a winner here. We're gonna be winners. Oh, I shit. wanna be a winner. I wanna be a winner and I yeah. also wanna like, go on a second like date you. with you. I like yeah. you too. I'm so glad we connected. What? They have, they, what? They haven't fucking said anything. They literally have had like two questions. Oh, you do TikTok. I like cuddling. We're meant to be. That makes no sense. That literally makes no fucking sense. Yeah, same. Leah, pie. Oh, and this is the end of the video, bro. They are fucking farming out content for this shit. You could have made this like a 30 minute video. Jesus Christ. Pie and Emily is a forthright definition of incompatibility. Imagine being eliminated by a girl who never washes her sheets. Dude, is is it like like what the fuck? Is that like a is that like a casual thing? Do people wash their sheets every week? I wash that shit like once a month. Pie's reaction to Emily where the emotional where the physical embodiments of my thoughts. I really dug Pie. They're so wholesome. Also, they were right about Hannah. Something's up with a person who presses a button too quick on too many people. Like, bro, motherfuckers are reading too into this. This is a seven-minute video. You're really deciphering the personality of an individual based on the fact that they hit a button in 10 seconds on a fucking YouTube video. <laughs> like, I don't, think, I don't think it's that serious. What's her TikTok? I don't know. Should we try and find her TikTok? They didn't even say the username. I'm not going to fucking search that shit up. New rule, if you eliminate three people, you also get eliminated. I think that's a good rule. I hate seeing the the same person every time. Like, that's fucking annoying. You just see the same one person. Yeah, they just want screen time. They just want to be on it. All right. Uh, next video. How pizza, how Domino's pizza mascot caused a hostage situation. Imagine being in a hostage situation by a pizza mascot. If you could have one pizza mascot uh, kidnap you, who would it be? Little Caesars. Little Caesar. Not Caesars. Little Caesar. Kenneth Lamar Noid walks into a Domino's pizza shop in Chambly, Georgia. The smell of freshly baking dough and Chuck E. Cheese. No, that would be terrifying. Oh my God, if Chuck E. Cheese kidnapped me, that would be so scary. Oh my God. It sauce fills the air. The man behind the counter smiles and asks Kenneth what he can get him. After a moment's pause, Kenneth pulls out a gun. I want $100,000, a white limousine, and a book, he says. And if I don't get it, I'm killing everyone in this store. What an odd request. I understand the money, but why a white limousine and a book? Sean Burns freezes at the 357 Magnum pointed at him. Adrenaline pumps through his body. 
as his fight or flight response engages. Whatever you want, man, he tells Ken. Also, out of every place to hold a hostage situation, I feel like a bank would be better than a fucking Domino's. I don't really think you're going to get what you want if you hold up a Domino's. You know what I mean? There's like three fucking workers. You're just, you're just holding up the Domino's. I don't really think anything's going to happen. Kenneth. Burns said fumbles with the cash register. He puts in the wrong code. Oh, this is a McDonald's? This wasn't even a, this wasn't even a Domino's? Oh, yeah, that's even worse. You fucking hold hostage at McDonald's? Or doesn't open. The gunman becomes visibly upset. He tries again, and this time the drawer opens. The store itself doesn't have 100000 in the register or safe, which means that Burns said in his co Well, no shit. It's a fucking fast food place or a Domino's, bro. Well, you think they're going to have 100 grand on hand? Dude, some banks don't even have that. They're about to become hostages. Charcuterie boards are amazing. It's like sushi in a weird way. It is nothing like sushi. Charcuterie boards are nothing like sushi. Kenneth seems to want more than just cash, though. Burns said and his co-worker had opened the shop only minutes... It is a Domino's. I thought it was a McDonald's. ...before Kenneth Noyd walked in and took out his gun. Originally, they had wanted to make it through the day so they could just get paid and go home. Now all they want to do is get out of the store alive. Take everything in the register, Burns said tells the gunman. Kenneth looks at him, becoming... Probably like $55 and a fucking coupon for an extra cheesy bread. A little bit annoyed. He starts explaining that it's not just about the money. Domino's has been using his identity and making fun of him at the same time. He believes that Tom Monahan, the owner of Domino's, owes him a lot of money because their new mascot is based on him. Burns had pauses for... That's the Domino's mascot? What the fuck is that? What the fuck a is that? The Noid is the Domino's mascot. And why does this guy think it's based on him? Look at this shit. What the fuck? With a confused look on his face. The mascot, he asks? Burns said glances at the poster hung up on the it's wall. It's his name. Oh my god. The store. On it is the claymation mascot of Domino's called the Noid. My name is Kenneth Lamar Noid. You see it now, you see. Still, that's some psychopath shit. Like, okay, they made a fucking mascot that happens to have your last name. Last names are fucking common. The man pointing a gun at him tells Burns that his name is Kenneth Lamar Noid. Burns said immediately realizes the mascot and Kenneth's last name are the same. This man is clearly not well, as the resemblance ends there. So you there. just stick up a random Domino's? Because the mascot has the same name as you? But he isn't about to tell him that. Also, Noid is such a dumb name for a mascot. Like, Noid sounds like a last name, but for a fucking mascot... Kenneth Noid had first seen Domino's new mascot in a television commercial, just like millions of other people. In 1986, Domino's had developed the character to sell their groundbreaking new promotion, the delivery of pizza in 30 minutes or less or your cash back. In the commercial, the Noid, short for annoyed, tries all sorts of crazy gimmicks to delay Oh, short for annoyed. Domino's pizza from being delivered on time. The commercials were a huge success. People not only loved the idea of getting their pizza delivered quickly, but they loved the mascot as well. This started to bring Domino's more and more business, which meant they had big plans for the Noid. In fact, the Noid character itself became so popular that he even made appearances in Michael Jackson's musical film, Moonwalker. Have y'all ever heard of this mascot? I have never fucking heard of this. Video games and clothing lines. Thunder for the three but minutes. Kenneth Lamar Noid did not like the new mascot a bit. He and why the fuck would he think that it was based off him? Some random fucking guy? You think a multi-million dollar corporation just said, yeah, we're gonna steal this guy's last name. Truly thought that Domino's was using it to directly make fun of him. This led <laughs> Kenneth... That's psychopath shit. He really thought that a multi-million dollar corporation was using a mascot to make fun of him? Like, people at Domino's would even know the fuck he is? To the conclusion that he had needed to do something drastic to get Tom Monahan's attention, he decided that holding a Domino's store hostage was the best way to get what he rightfully deserved from the company. Kenneth Noid yells at Burnside to get Monahan on the phone. Can you prove they didn't? No, but just saying because you can't prove they didn't doesn't mean they did. In a panic, Burns had starts to tell Kenneth... That makes no sense. You can say that about anything. Microsoft Microsoft made their company to make fun of me. You can't prove that they didn't. Like, what? Like, 
that he doesn't know the number to reach Tom Monahan. Employees are not normally privileged to that information, but before he speaks, Burnson remembers that he was given the safety hotline number during his training. He dials the number, the phone begins to ring. It seems like an eternity until a friendly female voice picks up. Burnson looks at Kenneth, who is still pointing his gun at him, and explains to the woman in the other line what's going on. Kenneth Noy tells Burnson to inform her of exactly you why weren't he- weren't alive? Okay, so? So? They knew I was going to be born. Microsoft knew I was going to be born. I'm just making the point that, like, there's no fucking feasible way that Domino's would make a mascot to make fun of a person. He wants to talk to Tom. That isn't famous. Maybe if it was, like, Tom Hanks. On a hand, the lady on the other line chuckles as she thinks this is some kind of joke. Then, over the receiver, she hears a gunshot. The line goes deadly quiet. Another shot is fired and can be heard through the phone speaker. Burns had comes on the line and tells her that Kenneth Noyd just fired two bullets into the ceiling to show he was serious. Oh, I thought he killed them. Oh, I thought he fucking killed them. He pleads with the woman on the phone to get into contact with the owner of Domino's by any means possible. She immediately picks up another phone and dials the police. On Burnset's line, she can hear Kenneth screaming that he will kill everyone in the store if he doesn't get exactly what he wants. Kenneth Noyd grabs the phone from Burnset's hands and continues yelling into it. Then he hangs up and slams the phone back into its receiver. Shocked, the woman working the safety hotline tells police exactly what happened and the location of the Domino's store where people are being held at gunpoint. Officers are immediately dispatched, and the Domino's hostage situation over the Noid mascot officially begins. Burnsett and his co-workers are stuck behind the counter. Kenneth points his gun at them as every phone in the store begins ringing at once. The sound of sirens can be heard in the distance. The Domino's employees can clearly see Kenneth is unhinged. They don't know if they'll make it out of the pizza shop alive, but they do their best to remain calm. I would fucking, I would be dead pissed. You're working a minimum wage job at fucking Domino's, and you're dealing with some psychopath that thinks the fucking mascot's making fun of him. So he threatens to fucking kill you? Like, what? I'd be like, dude, I got this I got this job to fucking get some extra cash, man. I don't know anything about your fucking stupid-ass mascot. As police cars surround the Domino shop and blue flashing lights flood through the window, Kenneth Noyd fires four warning shots into the ceiling. The police realize just how dangerous the situation is. They don't fire back, but they draw their guns and cover all the exits. Kenneth locks all the doors and stays away from the windows. Officers get a glimpse of him every now and then, but cannot safely take- I just never understand that shit. Like, any hostage situation, unless it's like an old hostage story, like even this. Like, if you hold people captive and you want money and a way out, like, they know your name. You know what I mean? Like, it, it doesn't matter. Like, say, say a hostage situation goes in your favor. They give you the money. They give you the car. You fucking flee to Guatemala. They're still going to find you. Like, they know your name. They know what you look like. Even if you hold something over you, there's fingerprints. Like, there's you, you don't get away. You don't hold a hostage situation and then fucking get out of it forever. Like, they end up finding you. Even if it's 10 years down the line, they find who you are. Take a shot at Ken. Uh, the diamond for the 500 bets. Yojo, love you. It's my friend Eli's birthday today. Could you say happy birthday, Eli? Happy birthday, Eli. Thank you for the 500 bets. Kenneth. The phones continue to ring as negotiators try to get through to the man holding the store hostage. Finally, Kenneth Noyd picks up. On the line is a negotiator. They, talk they only have your fingerprints if you're a criminal. Bro, it doesn't matter. They will still track you down somehow. Like, you're not, you're not going to be able to fucking stick up a Domino's, get out, and then never be found. A few minutes while the negotiator listens and builds a profile of the man he's speaking. Like, if it was that easy, people would be holding hostage situations all the time. Two. Kenneth explains how Domino's is using the Noid to make fun of him and how the company owes him a lot of money for what they've done. The negotiator actively listens to Kenneth and tells him that he's being hurt and that he needs to release the hostages as a sign of good faith. Kenneth Noid loses his cool and begins screaming at the top of his lungs. The negotiator becomes worried that he might do something drastic. He talks Kenneth down and continues to listen to what he has to say. Although he is coherent, a lot of the things Kenneth is communicating are irrational. He also no longer wants just money, but a getaway plane to Mexico as well. The negotiator- See, like, that's uh, every, every, I feel like we've watched other videos where it's like a bank too. Yeah, give me a plane to Mexico. What are you gonna do when you get to Mexico? Fucking make a new name, go to the government, get a new ID, change your name, learn Spanish. Like, it's not that easy. You don't just flee the country and you're fucking out, bitch. Like, they're gonna find you. 
Appreciator has Kenneth go back to the beginning of his story and explain once more why he is holding the people within the pizza shop hostage. The police are biding their time as they formulate a plan to get everyone out of the Dominoes alive. Kenneth goes through the whole convoluted story of how Tom Monahan created the Noid mascot to taunt him and make him look stupid. There's no reasoning with Kenneth Noid at this point, so the negotiator just listens. Kenneth explains that he still wants the money, but he also requires the police to bring him a copy of a science fiction book called The Widow's Son. The negotiator says they can get the book first and will work on the rest as securing the money and- Why does he want that book? Plane will take time. Obviously, the police are not getting Kenneth a plane or the money, but they need the to keep him talking. Son. As negotiations continue, chaos breaks out at the Domino's headquarters in Ann Arbor, Michigan. The executives of this the company- This is in Michigan. Dude, I would have thought this was like in Florida or some shit. Fucking some random city in Michigan. Just a fucking stick up at the local Domino's. Meet in a boardroom to closely follow the hostage situation. They inform the police that they're willing to provide them with anything they need in order to get their people out safely. Monahan even goes as far as to offer them his private jet if it'll help with negotiations. The police tell the executives they'll be kept in the loop, but for now everything is under control. Even with this reassurance, the heads of the company can't help but worry. They have all the televisions in the conference room on. Every major news station in the country is reporting on the hostage situation. Headlines flash across the screens as reporters speculate what the most likely outcome will be. At any moment, Kenneth Noid might snap and people could be seriously injured or killed. Back in Georgia, the police get their hands on a copy of The Widow's Son. The negotiator informs Kenneth they have the book for him, but will have to release one of the hostages in exchange for the novel. This does not <laughs> A science fiction novel for a person, even trade. Not sit well with Kenneth, he once again begins screaming into the phone about the conspiracy Dominus has been perpetrating to make him look like an idiot. Kenneth Noid then tells the negotiator he doesn't want the book anymore and is keeping all the hostages. The law enforcement agents on the scene. Why did he want the book in the first place? I want to fucking know. Some random ass novel. Why do you want that? What is he going to read it? To come up with another plan. It might be time to consider using force. They must either get into the pizza shop to confront Kenneth or find some way to get him to let the hostages out. While the police formulate their next course of action, Burnside takes matters into his own hands. He knows that the officers outside are- You want to hear a general take from Joe Bart? I think the news stations reporting on some crimes is a good and a bad idea. I think the news, re I think the news telling people about tragedies and stuff is always good, but I think that sometimes the news reporting on things motivates people to do the same thing. Uh, and I mean, like, yeah, they might do so. It, it, like, they're motivating psychopaths, right? Because the people that are, like, when, when people see, like, uh, like, a mass hostage situation on the news or something, they're repeating that those people would have done something insane anyway, but it is kind of making the issue worse. Like, I, I a lot of people try to say that, like, oh, crime is, like, way more of a problem now than it was in, like, the 50s. I would kind of disagree with that. I would say that crime is kind of the same. It's just reported more, but I would also say that a lot of news stations talking about things motivates people to do worse or things. But I still do think the news, th there's an issue with that. Because if the news didn't report about it, then people wouldn't know. And that's bad. Like, because people should know about those things going on. But when they do report about it, then people do it more often. So it's just like, it, it, it's a, it's a lose-win scenario either way. Like, it's, it's bad. It's, it, something bad happens regardless of whether or not you report it or don't report it. When are you going to watch Daz's, Daz watches Andrew Tate? Yeah, a Yen X for the 300 bets. I don't know. I mean, I've already watched Andrew Tate myself. It would be me reacting to Daz reacting to Tate. I'll check out the video at some point, but I don't know. How long is the video? Because we might be able to watch it after this is done. Daz watches Andrew Tate. If it's a long ass, it's 54 minutes. Yeah, see, that's a long-ass video. And it's mainly him. Like, I've already given my commentary. And I'm assuming I say a lot of the same things as as Daz. So, like... Really wears makeup. She, I've never seen her get her nails done. She loves to travel. She doesn't want kids. I love Daz, though. Daz is so nice. Do you think we should watch it one day? I wouldn't watch it today because it's 54 minutes. But I would watch it. I'll I'll add it to I'll add it to the watch later. I'll add it to the watch later. We'll watch it another day.
trying their best. Well, well we might watch it tomorrow. We might watch it tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Not be enough. He can see how disgruntled Kenneth Noid is becoming and is afraid that if he doesn't calm down, someone could get hurt. Yeah, that would be a good late night. Maybe not tomorrow. That would, be, that would probably be a good late night. Burnson begins talking to Kenneth. He tells him that he believes his story and he feels... What's tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm doing reactions in the second thoughts game and then Sunday I'm doing a full reaction day. So maybe it would be a better day for Sunday. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It, it, it doesn't matter. We're doing... It, a lot of videos are going to be watched both days. If I watch them one day, Saturday or Sunday, it doesn't matter. It's awful for what Domino's has done to him. Burnson then asks if he can get Kenneth anything. They have been in the shop for a few hours now and everyone's nervous and exhausted. Kenneth Noid looks up at the menu and thinks for a moment. He asks for an extravaganza pizza. Ew. Burnson tells him it's no problem at all and gets to work making the pizza with his co-worker. The two Domino's employees put four kinds of meat, a plethora of vegetables, and extra mozzarella cheese onto the pizza. I would they put fucking rat poison on that bitch. Are you kidding me? Somebody holds me hostage for fucking six hours. I'm putting rat poison in your pizza. Hate to be that guy. Slide it into the oven and wait. Time ticks by. There has been no communication from the negotiator for a while now. Kenneth Noid paces back and forth across the store. The oven dings. Oh, and he the makes you eat the slice first. Out. Oh, I would have gotten outplayed. He would have said, eat the slice. I would have been like, fuck. And placed onto the counter. Burnsett reaches for a pizza cutter when Kenneth starts screaming at him. Don't touch that, he shouts. Burnsett freezes and drops the pizza cutter in his hand. Did you think I wouldn't notice you were going to attack me with a pizza cutter? Kenneth asks. <laughs> Now, this guy's a fucking psychopath. Attack someone with a pizza cutter? They're not even sharp. What the fuck would that do? What, are you going to go up to them and fucking roll it on their, on their fucking neck? It's not going to do anything. Burnsett had no intention of trying to fight off a man with a gun, using only a pizza cutter, but Kenneth doesn't believe him. He tells Burnsett to leave the pizza as it is. He'll eat it without having it cut into slices. Oh my god, that's Burns menace said, shit. That's even more menace shit than fucking a hostage situation. You're just gonna eat a pizza? Just no, You're gonna start with the crust? Jesus Christ. Rugs and hands the uncut pizza over to Kenneth. Oh, fucking he uncut pizza? Ends chowing down on the pizza as the two Domino's employees stand in the corner of the Yikes. store. On the other side of the front door, dozens of police officers aim their pistols at the shop. Across the street, a crowd of people is gathered. News reporters give minute-to-minute -minute updates while pedestrians look on in anticipation. Even though Kenneth Noid has been given one of the most expensive pizzas on the menu, he is still dissatisfied. He continues to ask where his money and plane are, no matter what the negotiator says over the phone. Okay, infographics show. That was a stupid commentary point. Even though he got the extravaganza pizza, the most expensive pizza, he's still upset because he doesn't have his other demands. No shit, he wants $100,000. If I wanted $100,000 and somebody gave me a fucking Domino's extravaganza pizza, I'd be pissed too. Own, no headway seems to be made. The officers in charge decide. Like, yeah, the hostage, the guy that's holding the hostages is a fucking psychopath. But w w what point are you trying to make? Oh, he's not satisfied with the pizza? No shit. They need to go into the shop and talk. It's not to what Kenneth. he asked for. The face-to-face -face interaction will give the police a better idea of his mental and physical state, while also allowing them to check in on the hostages. The negotiator calls the store and waits for Kenneth to pick up. When he does, the negotiator calmly explains they need to have an in-person meeting to talk about what the next steps will be. After going back and forth, Kenneth finally agrees to let officers into the store. Everyone gears up and prepares for the meeting. However, no one could have predicted what would happen next. It's clear that Kenneth Noid is unstable. The negotiator puts on a bulletproof vest just in case things go sideways. He hopes that by talking to Kenneth in person, he can- Yo, another take about bulletproof vests? What if they shoot you in the face? I never understand that. I always see these newscasters, they just, like, put on a bulletproof vest. Like, they could just shoot you in the head. Like, <laughs> like what's, what are you going to do there? I, I mean, like, yeah, it protects a good amount of your body. But, like, I always see, like, you ever see, like, when they were even, even when they were reporting in Ukraine, Ukraine, you remember when all that shit was going down and there was a bunch of U.S. reporters there and a bomb would go off and they would put a fucking bulletproof vest on? Like, they're just going to shoot you in the head. Like, what, what are you going to do then? You can convince him to release at least one of the hostages. The last thing anyone wants it's is... It's pretty hard to hit a headshot. Most people die from body shots. That's why my Val headshot percentage is 23%. Nah, I know what you mean, though. Nah, I think I... Yeah, you're right, but still. Like, he's putting a bulletproof vest on to walk right next to a guy that has a gun. That guy could just point the gun at his head and shoot him. The shootout... But this is still a very this real This isn't Call of Duty. Yeah, no shit. I'm still saying if you're right next to someone with a fucking pistol, they can shoot you in the head. ...ability and the police know it. 
They tell everyone who's watching the situation unfold to stay back. This is a crucial moment for the hostages and the mission as a whole. The negotiator signals to Kenneth that he's ready to proceed. Kenneth like he's going to go right next to him. He could just fucking barrel stuff him. Come extra cautious at this point. The police brought him the book he requested, but haven't met any of his other demands. He knows that they might try to shoot him if he goes to the door himself, so Kenneth tells Burnside to unlock the door and let the negotiator in. Burnside slowly walks up to the front door, reaches out and turns the deadbolt. The door unlocks with a loud click. Burnside looks back at Kenneth and sees that he is several feet away, hiding near the counter. He takes a deep breath, closes his eyes for a moment and then pushes the door wide open. He rushes out and sprints as fast as he can toward the nearest police car. The whole time he's running- Oh, I'm doing the same thing! I'm saying, fuck that! I'm getting out of here, bitch! Burnside can think about is how easily Kenneth could just shoot him in the back, but he had to get out of the store. Although Kenneth hadn't harmed him or his co-worker yet- Oh, but slow... then you're fucking over your co-worker. Would y'all dip? Would y'all dip? If you're if you're there and you can open the door and run out, but you know in the back of your head that that guy might shoot your coworker if you do that, would you still dip? Oh, that's fucked. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's a heat of the moment situation. Slowly becoming more and more unhinged, it was only a matter of time before Kenneth Noy did something crazy, and Burnside was not going to wait around for. Yeah, no, I would dip because then if he then if he shot the other coworker. Then he has no hostages. So he, so even though he's insane, he logically wouldn't shoot the other coworker because now he only has one hostage. So yeah, I'd fucking dip. Happened. I'd say, see Bur you later, man. Sorry, generalized. For Burnside this pushes his body as hard as it'll go. Officers run out from behind their cover and escort him to safety. Burnside collapses and tells the police everything he knows about the situation inside. Every piece of information is vital if they're going to end the standoff without anyone getting killed. Kenneth Noy begins to scream as one of his hostages escapes. He runs toward the door but thinks better of it. Kenneth turns and sprints toward the counter and hides behind it. As he turns his back to the door for a moment, Burnside's co-worker makes a mad dash for the exit. The co-worker bursts through the opening and runs to save. <laughs> he lost both- he lost both of his fucking hostages? Oh nah. Oh nah, they get, they're just gonna gun him down into dominoes. Jesus Christ. Safety. The police have secured both he hostages. He really didn't watch the other hostage? What the fuck? I feel like that's the one thing you would, that's like the one thing you have going for you at the end of but it. The gunman is still held up in the Domino store. They're really hoping the situation can end without casualties, but Kenneth is armed, dangerous, and now extremely mad. The sun is setting armed, over dangerous, the dangerous, extremely mad. Blow up the Dominoes. The fuck? Blow it up. Blow up the Dominoes. It's a fucking Dominoes. Blow it up. The fuck? Shoot an RPG at the window. Like, small town just outside. It's a fucking Domino's. It's <laughs> out of Atlanta. Rebuilding. It's been nearly five hours since Kenneth Noyd entered the Domino's Pizza. Through the windows, police can see that Kenneth appears to be talking to himself. The man is not oh, well, no. and they're worried that he could hurt himself or do something drastic. Oh my they don't... god, worried that he hurt himself? What? He, he just tried to kill people. You're going to prevent him from hurting himself after he just tried to kill people? What? Die for the sub. Get to him soon. The negotiator gets back on the phone and talks to Kenneth. Kenneth Noid no longer has any hostages or leverage to get what he wants. The negotiator tells him- the town is out of dominoes till it's rebuilt. That would suck. It's over, but he still wants to help. If Kenneth surrenders willingly and without incident, the judge will be lenient as he hasn't hurt anyone yet. There's a pause on the other line. Kenneth hangs up the phone. The negotiator doesn't lenient. know what'll happen. Fuck no. If, dude, fuck no, they're not going to be... Yeah, the judge will be lenient on you. He's still going to give him 30 years in prison for a fucking attempted murder. And a, a attempted murder, a uh, hostage situation, all this other shit, robbery. You're still getting charged. The next. All eyes are on the pizza shop. Kenneth Noyd approaches the front door and opens it. Every officer in the parking lot has their gun aimed at him. Kenneth places his firearm on the ground and puts it. You know how you get him real riled up? After they get him in the car, they'll say, you were right. You were right. I work for Domino's. The Noid was after you all along. It's all it's all a ploy and you lost. Then he would fucking lose it. What do you think he would do? His hands over his head. Police officers slowly approach him, place his so hands right. behind his back, and arrest the him. The Noid was 100% making fun of you. The hostage situation caused by a misunderstanding over Domino's mascot has come to an end. But the Noid- And you look like a bitch because of it, too. And you look like a bitch now, too. Domino's just bitched the shit out of you. He would probably start fucking smashing his head on the wall. Ah! Some shit like that. Story isn't <laughs> quite over yet. <laughs> Kenneth Lamar Noid- Domino's made you look like a bitch. Domino's made you look like a bitch. That fucking- 
that fucking mascot. You held up a Domino's, both the hostages escaped, and now you're in, now you're in the back of a cop car. They really got you too. The whole world planned on fucking with you, Noid. Yeah, yeah, and he would start fucking smashing his head on the wall. Fucking freak out. Placed in jail to await his trial. He's charged with kidnapping, aggravated assault, and theft by extortion. During his trial, Kenneth explains to the court that Tom Monahan was entering his apartment and snooping around at night. He states that Monahan then used the information he gathered on him to create the Noid mascot. It's but clear you from don't Kenneth look like the Noid. The Noid is like a weird alien figure with fucking bunny ears and a red jumpsuit. Like what? Lope for the Thringy Bits. I'll shoot him in the head without hesitation. I want to carry. He's a danger to, so to society. Fuck. Having a stroke while reading that. It's testimony that he is paranoid and mentally ill. After some deliberation, the judge finds Kenneth not guilty due to insanity. He's placed in the care of a psychiatric ward where he receives the help he needs to move past his delusions. For several years, Kenneth receives psychiatric care. His progress is slow and he continues to believe the delusion that the Noid mascot is out to get him. The doctors give him medications and have him in therapy multiple okay, times. Okay, 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 okay. Even if you do believe, say the Noid mascot was making fun of Kenneth Noid. So what? <laughs> so what? Check out my dono? Oh, Cam for the 300 bets. Um, all jokes aside, I kind of feel bad because in his head he actually believes he was wronged and cheated. My brother has schizophrenia and it's super real for them. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Little robot for the sub. Dude. A little quick story. Do you guys want to hear a fucking, uh, a fucking story about um, a trip I was just on? One of my friends, uh, I did not partake in this, by the way. But one of my friends, uh, or not, like friends, friends, I'm kind of friends with him now, um, took, he's chill. Uh, he took something. I'm not going to say what he took while I was on the trip with him. Um, and I'm not going to say the friend's name either. But he took something. Uh, and he genuinely, this was like four days ago. I'm sitting there. I'm playing multiversus with my with one of my friends and the other friend that took the the thing, um, a hallucinogenic, genuinely was trying to call the police. He was like, you know, the movie Get Out. He thought he was in that. He thought I was in a cult, and he thought a dude that I've known for like six months. I've known this man for almost a year. He thought that I was in a cult, and I would and me and my friends were trying to kill him. Uh. And, like, brainwash him. Uh, out of nowhere. Just, like, snap of a finger. Started freaking out. Paranoid. Were we? No. He started saying, he started saying, I need to go home. I need to call the cops. I'm freaking out, man. I'm like, what? And then one of my friends starts talking to him. And he's like, do I have a bank account? Like, where'd all my money go? And I'm like, I'm, like, listening to this. And I'm like, I pause the game. And I'm like, what the fuck and i'm like i'm like what the fuck and this goes on for like six hours no lie this goes on for six hours like for like just standing there like he had a terrified look in his eyes like you know when somebody looks like they're about to cry like he looked like that like he looked genuinely scared and i was like what i was like what are you worried about and he was like i was talking to him and this is when i was talking to him now he was like he was like <laughs> and this is like right after he started talking about calling 911. I'm like, or 911. I said 991. 911. I'm like, are you okay? And he's like, you have TikTok, right? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, did you pre record your videos? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, okay, where's my bank account? I like, I, that's the face I made. I went, what? And he was like, I need to get out of here. I was like, why? He was like, I'm not safe here. I was like, we're all just sitting here. I was like, what do you mean? Literally lost his shit. Had to, like, and one of my, <laughs> just stay, he, there was, he stood in, in a hallway for an hour. No lie, stood in the hallway for an hour and just stared at a wall, just like terrified. At one point, one of my friends was like, he was like, he was like, you got to grab him. He was like, he was like, somebody's got to go down there and grab him and shake him and be like, snap out of it. And I was like, that's probably a terrible idea. He ended up doing it and it worked. But like, dude, no lie, took shit, lost his mind. He was fine the next day, lost his mind for no lie, seven hours.
thought he, the next day he woke up he was like i don't know what i was thinking i was losing my fucking mind he said i dissociated i thought i wasn't real he was like i started thinking i was in the movie get out and y'all were gonna kidnap me and brainwash me i was like what the fuck like that's that's some crazy shit grace for the sub jennifer for the sub but my point in talking about that is like you like you sit there and you laugh about it afterwards, but like some people are constantly in that state of paranoia, like if people have schizophrenia. And so like to the outside world, those people seem insane. But to them, they seem like in the time of like a drug trip or if they have schizophrenia, they seem like they're like to them, it's real. And so it's like fucked in that regard. Joe, you lied. That didn't happen. Why would I lie about that story? Why would I ever lie about that story? Why would I ever lie about that story? Do you want me to go more in detail? Uh, he took it on the porch. We went on a walk to go to a lake. The lake ended up being closed. We walked back, started a fire. He was fine for that hour. I went in to go play multiverses. I mained Harley Quinn against my other friend playing Superman. When we were done that game, we ran it back. Middle of that game, I look over and that's when it happened. I, word for word, I'm, why would I lie about that? The fuck? Uh, die for the Bridge of Bets. Times a week, but nothing seems to help. At the same time that the Kenneth fuck? is being treated, Domino's continues to use the Noid in their commercials. Even if Kenneth didn't like the mascot, other people did. And it was helping the company sell pizza. The Noid continued to try and thwart Domino's pizza delivery personnel from getting to their customers in 30 minutes or less. He used a freeze ray to try and make Domino's pizza cold upon delivery. But no matter what the Noid did, he would always fail. It's these commercials that led to the Noid becoming a small but memorable part of people's lives. The nostalgia. I feel like that's like an old. Even though it's their mascot now, I feel like Domino's doesn't promote the Noid anymore. I feel like that's why we don't know about it because it's like a 1980s thing. Nostalgia that they felt for the Noid helped the character come back in future adventures, even after the hostage situation at the pizza shop. But as Domino's continued to promote their products and the business continued to grow. Things started getting worse and oh, worse Kenneth for Kenneth died. Noid. He was still receiving psychiatric help, but his delusions persisted. Then, in 1995, Kenneth Noid passed away tragically. It was around the same time that Domino stopped using the Noid mascot. The timing may have been coincidental as no official statement was made. Some spokespeople in the company said Domino's was just going in another direction, and their former mascot wasn't in line with the marketing strategy anymore. But others speculate. Okay, so it's still their mascot, they just don't use it that the decision to stop using the Noid had to do with Kenneth's passing. Either way, by the mid-90s, the Noid mascot stopped appearing on merch and in new commercials and became just a memory for many. However, Wait, isn't that weird that they stopped using the mascot after they die after he died? However, the Noid would one day appear again. When Domino started tossing around the idea of self-driving delivery cars, the Noid was- What the fuck? Domino's has self-driving delivery cars? Brought up as the perfect villain for the commercials. However, nothing came Thunder of this. Bets. In 2011, Domino's created the Noid Super Pizza Shootout Facebook game to promote their brand on social media. Dude, I forgot about that. That was like pre-COVID when they started doing those self-driving robots that deliver food. Y'all ever, y'all remember when on the news people would steal the robots and break into it and then take all the shit? Because they have, like, cameras and stuff. But, like, there was videos of people, like, running up, stealing the robot, and then, like, fucking sledgehammering it open for, like, a Wawa sub. I'm like, it was short like, what the fuck? It didn't seem to help sell very many pizzas, but it did show that the Noid was still in the marketing department's bag of tricks. In fact, the Noid made a much more recent appearance in 2021 in the Crash Bandicoot video game franchise. The game Crash Bandicoot on the run includes a level where the player has to dodge the Noid's freeze rays in order to complete the level. The hostage situation that developed- I don't think anybody fucking plays Crash Bandicoot anymore. I played that game when I was like 10. No one fucking plays Crash Bandicoot. That game is dead as hell. It was a good game. The new one's fucking trash. I'm pretty sure the new one was bad. Was the new Crash Bandicoot good or bad? I don't even know. All right, but we're going to call that there. That was a good stream. Um, I probably won't do Fall Guys or Multiverses often uh, for a bit, um, but I still will play them again. It's just more so, like, soon. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be doing, like, a weekly Fall Guys stream uh, just because it kind of peaks and dies, you know what I mean? But um, tomorrow's going to be reactions and then second thoughts. Uh, we're probably going to start with reactions and then go to second thoughts after. 
Uh, Sunday's going to be a full reaction stream. Exclamation point Discord. You can join the Discord, send videos for me to react to. Not a guarantee I'll react to it, but it does help. And sometimes I can watch the videos that you guys want me to see. Vaz for the sub. Um, but yeah. Uh, if you're already in the Discord, you can send videos. If you're not, join the Discord, exclamation point Discord. Uh, and then you can send videos for me to react to. I think you can send one a day. Uh, or like three links a day, something like that. Something around those lines. Uh, it's in the video uh, suggestion tab for Twitch. Uh, but yeah. Tomorrow's going to be reactions and uh, second thoughts. Monday or Sunday is going to be a full reaction day. Monday is going to be probably Val, I would say. Probably Val because we're, we're not doing Val Thursday. Tuesday off, Wednesday, starting Red Dead Redemption 2. Thursday, we're doing the Fortnite tournament. That'll be a later night stream. Um, Friday, probably reaction. Saturday, I don't know. We'll go from there. But yeah. Uh, if you have any new games you can recommend as well, uh, I'll probably talk about it tomorrow on stream or just during another gaming day. You could recommend other games for me to react uh, to play uh, or videos for me to react to. But yeah, uh, we do have a bunch of games that uh, we are going to play. Red Dead Redemption 2, Second Thoughts. That's probably a one-time playthrough. We still have the Batman Telltale series and the Sally Face game. Uh, but yeah, uh, other than that, uh, who do we raid? Who do we raid? While I'm setting up this raid, name any other games that you guys want me to play that I haven't played in a while or just new games that I haven't played at all. Uh, we are going to do a uh, food truck sim when that comes out. That comes out in like three weeks. Uh, but until then, Stray already played. Monopoly, Uno, yeah, those are just other ones. The Wolf Among Us. Apex, fuck no. The Pedestrian, Raft. Maybe Raft. Raft would be good. Should we start a new uh, Minecraft uh, world soon? I kind of want to start a Minecraft world soon. Like a new hardcore world. We might run that up uh, once the school year starts up. Like mid-September maybe we'll start that. Uh, all right. We're going to raid somebody. We will raid... We'll raid J&E Gaming. I haven't raided him in a while. All right. Uh, yeah, we could definitely start a new Minecraft one, though. Uh, and when the new COD comes out, we'll be playing that as well if it's good. Uh, but yeah, no, so there are, yeah, we actually have a lot of games that are coming out soon that we're going to be playing and, and rocking with. But yeah, hope you guys had fun watching the stream. We had a good view count today. Uh, thank you for everybody that came into the stream. And I will see you guys tomorrow uh, around 2 or 3 p.m. EST uh, for the reaction stream uh, slash uh, second thoughts. Uh, I will be switching to my summer stream, summer stream to my school year stream schedule, August 29th. Uh, we're going to be streaming at 4.30 p.m. EST uh, starting August 29th through the rest of the school year into the summer. Uh, weekends, we'll still stream at 2 p.m. EST. But until August 29th, every day we'll be streaming around 2 or 3 p.m. EST until I go back to my school year stream schedule, which will start at 4.30 p.m. EST. But yeah, hope you guys had fun watching the stream, and I will see you guys later. We are going to raid in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'll put it to Mondo then.